that was a little bit different. I, th I think Chris muted himself. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I forgot I muted myself. I don't know why, because you're presenting, so they couldn't fucking see me anyway. They just hear me. <sighs> Good evening. All right, mate. All right. Yeah, I'm not bad. How are you doing? I'm not bad. Not bad. I went to uh, my local vape shop today. And uh, I was saying to him, did you, uh, did you try the... Uh, the Yorkshire Vapor stuff I told you about. He's like, oh, yeah, I've got some samples in. He's like, I like a few of them, but there's a few I don't like. Do you want them? I'm like, yeah, all right. So I got 120 ml of jam pasty, 120 ml of raspberry pudding, some broken bad boy, a fucking lemon Madeira cake, a fucking ice home dough. Nice, that. Not, not a bad day for free shit, though. I know. It's all right. <laughs> Talking of free shit, what are you vaping on? Ooh, what? Ah, uh, am I? Are we, are we talking about it? I don't know. We can speak vaguely about it. I don't particularly. Don't, don't don't talk about vaguely because he's not here. He'll get all possessive. <laughs> I'm um. What are you vaping on, Chris? Are you vaping on the same as me? Kind of. I am. I think. Although I've mixed two juices together and it's a bit fucking shit. <laughs> uh, hashtag free shit. Hashtag free shit. Hashtag James Story. Yeah. Uh, I'm uh, joking. I'm joking. <laughs> what are you vaping on, mate? Uh, I'm on vaping something. Oh, I'm not supposed to show the RDA. Hang on. Oh, shit. Oh, you're not. <laughs> I was thinking, what am I supposed to have here? Wait a minute. Hang on, I'll take the cap off. Surely the deck's more important. You can't really see past the carton, can you? Ah, not. Oh, really. maybe, maybe a little bit if you turn it round. Then it's not in focus. So, <gasps> naughty, naughty. I we shouldn't be showing these things on the show. <laughs> Especially if we've got any Chinese viewers straight back to the factory. And I shouldn't be showing the RDA. You just linger with the RDA in your hand. <laughs> oh, well. Could vape this. It's not bad, mate. It's not bad. What what are we saying about it? Well, not a fucking lot, mate, <laughs> if I'm honest. <laughs> it's nice though, isn't it? What do you what do you think? I'll just go um, there. You want me to be brutally honest? Oh go on, you dickhead. <laughs> I wasn't a big fan for a start. Is that before you put the batteries that in? That was before I put the battery in, yeah. <laughs> so when, when did I get it? it? Must have been Friday, Thursday. Yeah, wanker Friday, I think I sent it Thursday. Friday, and it's kind of sat in a well. It was sat in. I tried making it all colourful for you. I only had three sharpies though. A padded, a padded envelope, um, written by a three-year-old. <laughs> well, I had two sharpies in the highlighter, and I tried to make it as pretty as possible. And it's been what. Am I allowed to show anything else that was in the bag? No. No, okay. Don't show anything else. But, so no extension pieces? No. <laughs> You're such a dick. <laughs> I mean, I was going to do this. Okay, do that. But, but that's in like that's like through frosted glass. You're just like, can I, can I not show them this? I'm not can sure I'm... you can see anything, can you, from... A little bit. Might as well just do this. Look, this is exactly what you've just done to me there. I'll show you. <laughs> uh, Chris, are you there? I am. I'm just drawing a diagram. I'm drawing a diagram of what I did. Yeah, you pretty much did this to me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but they've got no idea how long my fingers are. Mm -hmm. Well... I heard that your missus asked you to feel her belly button, and you did from the inside. Mm, and that was just with my... Anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> as you see, it's just Chris and I this evening. Please, please don't all run off. Um, Chandler will be with us shortly. Um, I, think I, can I think I can say what the mod is, though. What is the mod? 
the pandemonium. Is that a bit lively for you, Mark? Are you used to that 0.28 oh, coil? No, something seriously went wrong there. With what? I think Built. Oh, you put a bigger, too big a building. That freaked me out a bit. <laughs> You're not used to those big old builds anymore. It wasn't. It, something shorted somewhere. Well, it's not. It's not in the mod. I'll tell you that much. No. <laughs> um... Oh, for fuck's sake! I charged a battery and brought it with me. Now I've got two batteries sitting here, both exactly the same. I don't know which one's charged, which one was sitting here from God knows when. High-quality monitor makes a difference. He knows the measurements. He knows uh, exactly what I'm making. You see, I didn't realise that I'd actually got it written on the back of my hand as well, but... I don't even know what that was written on the back of your hand, but it better than fucking not been that. <laughs> Does a dehumidifier take in vapour and turn it into water? Next question. Come on. I don't know. You must... Uh, it just sucked in the vape then, and I was just wondering whether it's just going to turn it into water. Perfect. First showing, and it shorts live on air. I've got a feeling... Is Simon Watts the person that gave it to you? No, no. Um, I'm quite... Where is it? I'm quite close to the edge. And when you... Look inside the cap. It's quite a thick. Your effort, your AFC. airflow control is quite thick. So I think what I'd done now, now Badger. Um, I think what I'd done was just shorted across something because I do have a section of very black looking coil now. Mod's beastly, though, isn't it? Aye, it hits well. So are you, you said you were going to say what it is or what it's called or. I think we're going to call it the pandemonium. Ah. Yeah, man. We're excited. Yeah. It's pretty it's, good, uh, man. Thanks. I, I try sometimes. I need to make sure I'm not showing on air what it is I'm fucking about with it because I'm planning on changing some stuff. Carry on talking though, you know. Oh, just Play. watching you, Chris. Just make it awkward enough, Ed. <laughs> Do you like my t shirt? Who's. That's a bit weird because every time I speak, my screen blink, blinks up and I read who's, and that was it. Hello. Who's watching? Watch. Is that cool or what? It's on the inside of your t shirt. So what they're asking you to do is flash in public, then. That is not a new RDA. This is the Voras by Vapors Cloud. It's most certainly not a new RDA. Oh, shit. We're supposed to have a guest. We are. Are you going to send him an invite? Yeah, I've just noticed a message from him saying, I'm ready, bro. He's <laughs> sitting like a cub waiting for you. Hmm. And we'll do our watch your vaping on. Uh, there you go. I want to make sure that's not killing my dehumidifier. I really like the Voras, to be honest. I like the convenience of being able to just squirt a shitload through the middle and not worry about it. I need to try and get rid of the flavour of this grape shit. What grape shit is it you vaping? Um, I'll tell you, mate. I'm trying to evade that rhubarb strawberry tobacco from Hell Canada. But I tried this shit earlier. I was given it by the vape shop. Uh, nasty. Yeah, nasty juice. ASAP grape. ASAP grape, yeah. Yeah, it's all right. It doesn't taste as chemically as I thought it would, which really surprised me. You know what? I went through a period of... I won't say liking them, but not disliking them. Yeah. I think... What do you think of this, Mark? That's nice, that. It's nice. Mm. 
Mm. That battery's dead as well. I've been using that since fucking nine o'clock this morning. Yeah, no, what I was going to say was it's, um, I was going to say it's quite nice that I'm using a brass tube, but I'm, I'm not, am I? I don't think so. You've got the option to, though, haven't you? <gasps> oh! You idiot. How did I miss that? That's why I sent you what I sent you. I'll be back. Introduce our guest. All right. Hide your screen because I can. This, you're all I see at the minute. Like, turn the camera off. My Stick camera. It, your fucking face, anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Did you just turn the light out? Or turn the brightness down and just fucking. You can't. Hey, how you doing, Jono? How you doing, Dode? What did you just call me? Dode? So the other light? Oh, you said Dave. I'm like, who the fuck Dave. is Dave? <laughs> That'd be a new one. Ah, how you doing? Well, I'm there. How are you? Yeah, not bad. How, how did you feel when they killed off your character in the seventh film? <sighs> yeah. Harry Potter spoilers, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it would have been disheartening, but you get you move on. Yeah, I can imagine. I, I was going to say, have you seen Infinity Wars yet? No. Um, I only saw... Oh, Ragnarok on Sunday because I went to Asda and got it. Do you want to know who dies? Not really, no. Batman. They kill Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to anyone who's not seen it yet, but Batman dies in Avengers. You're a liar. Yeah. I heard it was the Hulk. Did you? You're such a dick. Go away, Mark. <laughs> Go and fucking carry on fiddling with your wiener. <laughs> what are you vaping on, J uh, Jono? Um, speaking of Batman, I'm on my Batman Six side, and with with that, I'm on the Dead Rabbit. Which... Batman Suicide. I always thought his parents were killed. Still find you funny as ever, Chris, as you can tell by my hysterical laughter. Um, yeah, well, you're just a troll cunt anyway, though, aren't you? That's why we only invite you on once a year. <laughs> just boring it's like having a conversation with a ream of paper yeah um ah. yeah so batman suicide is that um, a scar on your chin or is that like a is that a gray beard tuft what that or that under there yeah under there like, no I've, like, I've had it for as long as i can remember and i have no idea why it's there what is it a scar no what is it it's the hair no, what it is i'm just just it just comes out white. Like if, if I ever grow it out, it just comes out white. It's weird. So you got a tuft of white beard hair. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking bad. I know. That's why I don't usually grow a beard. Out. You should grow that just one bit and then plait it like a Dumbledore. <laughs> just have a little tiny Dumbledore beard on the Get side. Get some of them Viking beads. Yeah. And then sick. one day you might not like Chandler. <laughs> 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 oh God. What are you, uh, yeah, so what else are you vaping on, or is that it? Uh, no, just the Joe Salmon, uh, the limited edition Blackberry Jam Monster. Oh, nice. That's what Can I'm anyone doing. blow O's? I haven't fucking tried for years. Someone in the chat's like, blow some O's, dude. I think you're being trolled, to be fair. Huh? I think you're being trolled. Oh, well. Go on, cough them out, O's out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, there's one, there's one. Oh, skill. Might come out a bit too quick. <laughs> We're vaping <laughs> off. Mark. Me. Um, yeah. I'm, now, I'm now vaping on a brass mod with a stainless steel ooh, RDA. Cool. Why are you vaping on? Uh, I'm vaping on. I'm vaping cloudy lemonade from Jeffers. That light is way too bright. It is quite bright. That's better. Is it still making me look bold, like you said the other night? Yeah, no, it's not because it's not directly above your head. Now you look more like Severus Snape than Jono does. <laughs> um, what's that on your shirt, Mark? 
Oh, did I? I meant the logo, but... Oh, uh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I did read the logo. <laughs> uh, fucking oh, fucking hell, I hate myself. going to be what? Two huh? years old? That's like the good quality shirts. Yeah, what? I wear mine all the time. I had mine on yesterday, actually. This always happens as well. Did you get one, Johnny? What's that, sorry? Did you get a CDC T-shirt? No. Oh. Crown Drip Club Blue. No. I'm not that good. What did you have for dinner, just Johnny? I had nothing yet. I've come straight in from work. It was just by chance that Mark messaged me, and I was just, um, I was just heading home. Because usually I don't finish for about half nine, ten o'clock. Ah. Oh, do, you, do you work at DPD or something? DHL. DHL. They deliver till ten at night. It's not delivering. It's because uh, I'm at warehouse, so it's like processing everything. You just got to go out to rest at world. So. Oh, I watched the fucking Secret Millionaire episode where that that DHL fucking undercover it, boss. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, is it at that plant? No, no, no. He was. You uh, look a bit like the geezer that fucking was on it. He got a secret stash of cash knocking about that you didn't tell them about. I Just I had a bandana on and you looked like the geezer. Nah. Um, I've been here 20 years and I've never had a fucking pair of eyes. I've never I had a pair of eyes. I can't remember which depot you were in. It's somewhere near you because you had a fucking dodgy accent. Was it, it might have been uh, East Midlands. Oh, maybe. That yeah, app. That's the main hub. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's the one where they open every single one of my boxes, go through it, stick a label on it. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah that is. It's exactly that one. Every single box that comes through that hub from abroad gets rummaged. Yeah. They don't pack it properly afterwards. The thing is, a lot of the stuff that I obviously get through that hub is from China. And anyone, anyone at all that has dealt with China and ordered in bulk from China will know what fucking experts they are at packaging stuff. Yeah. Literally, my missus can pack a suitcase. And she will get every last, 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 last tiny little bit shoved in any little hole she can find. She ain't got nothing on the Chinese. The Chinese are fucking incredible. Yep. And then it's almost how, like it's almost like they're paying per millimetre because they make sure every single square millimetre is filled. And then I swear to you, they must use four rolls of tape on every box. Yep. I, I hope there's been tech- spindles like uh, mechanic gas for tyres for uh, putting on alloys. Yeah. They've got like, one of them spins, and all they have is just a tape gun. And they just spin it. No way. There's no way they can spin some of them parcels. Have you ever shipped over fucking 2,000 RDAs? There's no way they've got time to be flipping that parcel over. They've got yeah. to fucking. Fuck that. Seriously. That's probably... I'm on Madness. it. Madness. I think they sent me over like 90 kilos one. No, 90 kilos. 900 kilos of stuff. Was it, no, it can't have been that much. You were, nah, sorry, John, no, you lied. Why? Share screen. I don't know if I can because it's somebody else's video. Can so? we? Can we do that? Okay. I'll reference it from an educational point of view. You are a teacher, after all. Well, I, that's, that's how they used to do it. I don't know how they do it now. There you go. That, that, that's what I'm being shown. I'll keep talking just so... Oh, shall I press play? It does help, doesn't it? There you go. Yeah, that's what they look like as well. That's it, but they're not They're not spinny-taped. Not spinny-taped at all. Wait for it. Oh, no, he's got a good spin going there. Oh. Ah. I thought you meant flipped over and gone from like over under. That, that's quite impressive, I've got to say. It is. Considering DHL managed to undo all that hard work in about three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> that is DHL. That's China. Yeah, well, that's that's DHL China. They always package it in, them, uh, in the other tip. Everyone does. Everyone in China packages in that. Really? Yeah, yeah, every package I get from China looks like that, and it's got loads of black writing down the side. They just write in big pen and all this funny, funny symbols and all sorts of shit. And... <laughs> funny symbols. <laughs> <laughs> it usually says UK box seven or something like that. 
UK box seven of forty three. Yeah, stop. that's exactly what it says. Stop! 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 stop. That is oh. marvelous, isn't it? Look at that. There we go. Oh, now we've got a, a FedEx video: how to pack seal and label shipments. You could fucking give that to my missus because she manages, she rams like. 15 things in one jiffy bag and one just like bursts open on the way to the post office. <laughs> um, I swear she probably owes the post office about 16 rolls of tape the amount of time she says, can I nick a bit of tape to seal this back up? Oh, fucking hell. Are we talking about anything specific tonight? I thought we were. Yeah, we've got a few bits. Um, I'm kind of stalling until Chandler gets there. Um, oh, no. I've got the shows to talk about. It's just it's just the hazard that comes with working as a stripper. You end up being staying late, didn't you? That's it. This is a private dancer. Tape talk. Tape <laughs> talk UK. I was like, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I introduced someone to this the other day. I don't know if you guys have heard it. Have you heard Seagulls Stop It Now by Bad Lip Reading? No. Oh, it's amazing. It's proper good. It's a bad lip reading. They take clips from like news and TV and stuff and they dub over it and they dub it in words that it looks like the person is saying. It could be what they are actually saying or other words that are funny. And, uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me, they, uh, they took loads of clips from Star Wars and they made a whole song out of it and it's fucking yeah, awesome. Yeah. There's two of them. There's one called uh, Bushes of Love. Yeah, bushes of love and one seagull stop it now. Oh, they are so fucking good. What are you vaping on, Chris? Yeah, I'm vaping on that thing and billet box 45 milligram as per. Um, got a bit of a cold. It's a bit shit, isn't it? Buzz lip reading for the win. Um, Buzz lip reading. I came across something this week. Um, and I've, I've heard people talking about stuff in passing conversations and um, where is it where's my link I've lost my book where's my page gone so um, there's something called an MCT yeah a medium tray a medium chain try play a little play a little pronunciation thing again oh uh, I thought if you were doing that, glycerides. Try glyrus. Try, try saying that after one too many. Try glyrus. Anyway, try, things is it triglycerides? Try what? Try glycerides. Try glycerides. Yeah, it's try try glycerides. Try glycerides. And <laughs> try glycerides. <laughs> 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 Um, and the reason I came across it, yeah, thanks, Badge. I can read. I just can't say it. Um, I, I thought MCT stood for my cox tiny. Oh, is it not chode? <laughs> yeah, my my chode's tiny. So yeah, so if you try, yeah, you try glycerides a high, it's bad. Now I got got an email during the week from O O O. Um, which are a um, concentrate flavor manufacturer, OOO Flavors. And they've just started releasing MCT concentrates. And I, I just didn't get it. They're, they're, they're selling them as, as, as a concentrate um, that can help you manage your weight, that can improve your cognitive function that can give you i think it's a load of bollocks personally i think it's going to be like, like i think it's going to be like those fucking breakfast shakes the meal replacement shakes but and they're supposed to lose weight but i suppose when you have 12 meals a day 12 shakes is not going to help you lose weight is it so that's a lie <laughs> Is that where you went wrong, Chris? Yeah. That, well, that's a lie, though. You're supposed to replace your average meal with a shake. So if you're a big, fat bastard, excluding myself, I have three and a half meals a day, 
if you are a big fat bastard and you eat 16 times a day, if you drank 16 meal replacement shakes instead, you are not going to lose weight. They are, <laughs> in, a, in boxing terminology, pound for pound, just as bad as having a meal. Do you know what I mean? It's just your body has less to absorb. Hmm. So either way, they're saying you can vape yourself thin. They can vape yourself smart. You can. Um, I've heard um, that there's vape yourself hard, vape yourself horny, vape yourself all all sorts of these things that I get hard every time I vape this rhubarb and strawberry uh, tobacco from Canada. Hail Canada! The thing is, you can't actually buy that stuff, so it's a bit of a pointless wrapping there, mate. I know. I haven't even said where it's from. It's just, it is a fucking amazing juice. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm very, very sceptical about it. Do you remember in the early days, you used to be able to get caffeine-based ones, and you could make caffeine, and then it turned out that the... Yeah, but they could, like, electroshock or something like that. It turned out that the... It turns out that the... By vaping it, you're actually killing the caffeine that was in it anyway. Uh -huh. To me, to me, we're almost coming to the point of medic self medicating via vape. Now, obviously, it's a great way of getting something into your system quick, quickly, which is why we vaporize nicotine. If I can imagine it happening where it's like new craze, students getting ready for exams are vaping this smart juice to try and attempt to make them feel smarter. They're not working because they feel like a bunch of cunts as it is. Yeah, believe them when I see it. Until then, bollocks. Yeah, when I see it and I try it and it works, then I'll believe it. I, I don't think I could be made, made any smarter, actually. I think I'm the... Yeah, I don't think I could be made any harder, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I could do with the aphrodisiac one. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Would that not be constituted almost as date rape? Is that not Rehypno? No, Rehypno yeah. makes you tired. Yeah, have a toot on my horny juice. <laughs> I mean, do you know what would have the same effect with you, Mark? Putting a bag on Lindsay's head. True. <laughs> That'd make you horny, yeah? Oh, please don't beat me up at my own wedding. Please don't beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> you know Lindsay's going to destroy you at your wedding. Do you, do you know what you're saying your vows? I thought you meant after the wedding. Uh, well, <laughs> you're all. someone may as well. <laughs> so is yeah. that going to be the new thing now? It's just going to be a yeah, chime of vape and it's filled with a tank full of chloroform? That's not a good idea, John. I wouldn't recommend doing that, mate. Just saying. I think, I think it's a novelty value that people will look into and then think of it as just a fad. You see, you see, if... <sighs> I don't, I just don't know. Uh, apparently, rehypnol's for, for you to take when you're about to have an anal scan with a tube, tube camera. Yeah, but that, that's because it knocks you the fuck out. I, I wasn't given rehypnol. I was given an athletic butt slap and a cheeky wink. <laughs> <laughs> was it a doctor, though, Chris? I don't know. <laughs> I've got no idea. He's, I don't he... know. Everything started to go a bit woozy. <laughs> yeah, it got a bit painful after that. I don't really want to relive the flat. Oh, I'm having flashbacks, man. <laughs> you weren't there, man. <laughs> wounded Vietnam vet. You don't know what it was like, man. You see, I was like that. When I had that... You only start a conversation, which you'd not. Um, when I had... When I fractured my spine a few years ago, um, I got... I got um, obviously taken into hospital way after, and um, I've been taking codeine for quite a long time. So I was um, unable to poop. Yeah, yeah, I was relatively solid. Um, and, it was like pushing out a baseball bat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, um, one of the doctors said, "Look, I, I just need to do a quick examination." Um, I'm just going to get one of my colleagues in to um, assist. I'm like, assist in what? What the fuck do you need two of you? <laughs> um, app apparently, they can't do um, rectal examinations without a um, 
audience. <laughs> An audience, yeah, pretty much. So his mate came in, stood there, watched him, put a hand on his shoulder whilst he was sticking his finger at me, chuff. Maybe he was holding a camera, but you were face down, so you didn't know. You should check out the new casting couch episode. <laughs> <laughs> Is that still going? I don't know. Oh, I thought you were being sincere. No, I haven't, no, I haven't seen it for a while. I lost interest when they never gave her the job. <laughs> uh, Plus, it, was just, it wasn't like Undercover Boss with Jono. It was like disappointing, you know, because you worked your way up to this really exciting job prospect and it just never happened. Hang on a minute. This... Caution for adult use only. MCT oil... May cause GI upset, which I'm guess, guessing gastrointestinal is... intestinal upset. Am I giving the shit? Oh yeah, I'm so horny. <laughs> oh sorry, love. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> She's really horny. You're really horny. You poke it in and she shits all over your balls. Lovely. Maybe they saw you as a safeguarding candidate. I, I had tears in my eyes, and and I, I was that nice. I even thanked him afterwards. Why the fuck? He shoved a finger at my ass, and then I thanked him. Maybe you enjoyed it a lot more than you uh, expected. <laughs> <laughs> my God. Um, is that what, is that what you said? Huh? Yeah. Mark booked in like it was a fucking facial. <laughs> <laughs> no, funny enough, talking to facials. It... <laughs> <laughs> it, that's how it ended. <laughs> it, started out, it started out with a kiss, and it ended up like this. Uh, anyway, for adult use only, did you fill out a survey? What was I, was I supposed to rate him? Do you know, like when you walk out of you walk out of Tesco and you say how good it was, one to five? Do you get that? Do I? Get I I've that? never I've never seen that in uh, foreign airports. No, you get them in. I'm sure Halfords have got them. And oh, I've actually no, I might have seen one in Halfords. They're all over the place. They're, I remember seeing a weird all... machine, but I thought it was one of those, you know, like those deli ticket counter things where there's such a big queue, I'll just take your ticket, wait for them to shout your number. They do that still. Do you remember those little green tickets you used to get? I don't know. You used to get it in a deli at fucking... Um, yeah, that's good. Yeah, oh, I don't know. We, uh, I can't remember what it was. Safeway? Number 17. 17. Yeah, they, they do it at Clark still. 17, no, 17. 18. 18, 18, 18, 18. Yeah, but I was an annoying little shit kid. I'd press it about 50 times. And they'd be going through numbers. <laughs> they'd be going through numbers for about 15 minutes. And I'm like, this was supposed to speed the process up. And you had little arseholes like me, age seven or eight, taking a real a ticket zone to play with. And then, and, then a, and then you've got a dick like me that used to stand at the back going, house, house. Yeah, bingo. <laughs> to be fair, I would get of that. Honestly, no, I remember doing it. I remember just keep pulling tickets and pulling tickets and pulling tickets. They didn't have a corresponding one now. They had a machine that told them what the last number was that they'd called out. They'd just press next. So you could take out to like 112 when they were on 17. And they'd be going, next, 880. Uh, 18, next, 19, next, 20. Next. They got up to like 107. McDonald's do do that now. It irritates me. Do they? Oh, it's like a the touchscreen service thing. Yeah, you do the touchscreen, and then you have to go and stand in a queue and wait for your number to flash up, don't you? Yeah, it's like Argos now. Argos, yeah. Argos. It's like a combination of Argos and a restaurant, though, because they do delivery if you sit down. Like they'll bring your food to you. What? Do you not have that? So if I go and sit back down in my shop, they'll bring my food back. No, to into McDonald's. <laughs> <you> <laughs> Although they've got a click and collect service now, we've seen this. What? I don't. Know, I don't know if it's out in the UK yet, but yeah, they've got a click and collect service. You can order. Fuck off. Do what you need to do. It will tell you when your order is about to be done, and you can just walk into McDonald's and pick it up. Oh right, you don't. You don't need to go to Argos to get it then. No, no. Not like that. Click and collect. No, you don't get a blue pen either. Don't Where's you your town skanky? Did you get blue pens or tiny pencils? Uh, blue pens. It was Ikea that had tiny pencils. Ah, see, our, our Argos used to have blue pens and everyone kept robbing them. You'd go around your nan's house and she'd have a fucking biscuit tin full of them. <laughs> I have fucking 158 blue pens. 
You're like, Nan, you're the reason that I have to ask for a sharpener before I can place my order. <laughs> You've literally stole all their pens. An Argos catalogue from every year. She's like, she's collecting them. Like, an, like a Beano annual. And it's like, Nan, they stopped selling last year's stuff when the new one comes out. Why have you kept the fucking... Do you remember the index catalogue? Hang on, I just want to interject with Badger here. The McDonald's app is shit. The McDonald's know. app does not fucking work. And I'm feeling around for my phone and I haven't got it, so therefore I can't I don't, you that it's... I don't do the McDonald's app because it would take me 45 minutes... Uh, it would take me an hour and 40 minutes to drive to the nearest McDonald's to collect anything. This is click and collect. Chris, it'll take you an hour to order. <sighs> yeah, I've only got so many fingers. That, 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 that. <laughs> <laughs> he is a demon on the McDonald's machine. I am. I have fucking opened Mark's eyes to what can be achieved when you go in and actually use the little machine. Was it you that actually knew the coupon code for the free cheeseburger off by heart? No. Who was that? Well, I don't know. No, we went at breakfast time. Don't you remember? Because we got them massive fucking breakfasts. Either way, I went in with someone. McDonald's is shit. Yep. Yeah, we're not disputing that. Anyway, shit, but I think I think we've um, Food Talk UK. Food Talk UK. Um, <laughs> See, Weatherspoons do it as well. You can be sat in a Weatherspoons order on the app, and they bring you food. I love spoon. I love a spoon. That's, that's just damn like fucking lazy. Uh, oh. have, have you seen it on Slamber where they? Um, I left Slamber a while ago. They were doing nothing. M nine, M nine, M nine, M nine. No idea what M nine is. It's M eight, like mate, but they spelled it wrong. Like a motorway, M9. <laughs> Fucking joke. Either way, so they'll say, right, tonight we're at the Pig and Baboon and we're sitting on table 47. Get us pissed. And people will just order drinks to their table. That is brilliant. That is fucking genius because I would order them all sorts of Chris, shit. Chris, you know right. what we should have done? We should have had your wedding reception. In a Weatherspoons. In a Weatherspoons. <laughs> Oh, I mean, so good, but I'd, yeah, but I'd be getting like cups of mayo delivered and shit because people are assholes. <laughs> Can you fill up a pint glass with a uh, with a uh, mayonnaise, please? Table twenty one. Mark McDonald's one stroke three Leicester Street. Do Mc delivery. One That's to three right. Leicester Street. So you can do Mc delivery. No, no, because there isn't a Leicester Street in Leicester. Is there not? No, I'm sure there's not. <laughs> I'm gonna Google it. In the summer called Uber Eats, where they can actually yeah. deliver for you. Uber Eats and Deliveroo and shit like that. They do it. Yeah. Deliveroo, are fucking awesome. Oh, I can't. I don't know how to. Do, oh, how do I do a new tab without using my mouse? It's a uh, Control N, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Has your mouse died? No, it's, uh, I've got my phone on charge, so, so I've unplugged the USB for it. Chris, you've got to expose this year. No, I'm not, mate. Question. Uh, about about, what, did uh, any of us try and get fit after quitting smoking? Um, no, I didn't. Nah. I thought, I've done my bit. Yeah, I thought I'd automatically lose weight just by giving up smoking. Then that just was the opposite of what happened. <laughs> I gave up smoking. I moved. I got with the missus I'm with. I gave up. I got with the missus I'm with. I gave up smoking and put on about five fucking stone, mate. No, uh, I imagine that my fitness would be better. But saying that, I do fall out of my ass when I have to climb the stairs at work. No, do you say you're overly fit, Kev? Kev, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Jono. Oh, low right. okay. I'll do it again. <laughs> City. <laughs> no, um, I didn't try and stay fit because I knew, I knew, you know, from quitting smoking, well, switching to vaping. I can't say quitting smoking because it's a healthy alternative to me, way I put it. But I. I won't say that I try to keep fit, but I can feel in myself that I feel a lot better and a lot fitter. I can do a shift at work with, without breaking a sweat. 
Yes, because you fucking don't do nothing, you lazy bastard. Uh, well, why the opposite? My job is really active. Mark, what's the um, post code to your shop? Uh, LE1. Yeah. 3HR. Is that the code for your free cheeseburger? Oh, Mark, your local McDonald's does Mc delivery. So what yes, is, you. What it, is delivery? Delivery service. They'll deliver yes. it to you. Don't be silly. Up to 1.5 miles. Eats, is it through Uber Eats? No. Yeah. Post is it in the chat? Oh, is it cut a link? It's Uber Eats. Cut. It's not Uber Eats. It is Uber Eats, you tart. It's not fucking Uber Eats. <sighs> it on. says Muck Delivery. There are other ones that are Uber Eats. Really? Because the, yeah. the, the one I'm looking at here definitely, definitely says Muck Delivery. Is rolling out on Uber Eats. No way. Download the Uber Eats app now. I actually got a semi from that. That excited me. And now it's just... What's wrong with Uber Eats, anyway? Well, I imagine it's a lot like their cab service, that um, if, if you're calling in a peak period, your chicken nuggets are going to cost more. And it'll well, take, the long way, take the long way around and charge you more. Well, do what I do. Have your lunch at breakfast time, then have your dinner at lunchtime. See, I've tried <laughs> that before, but they refuse to sell me a double sausage and egg McMuffin at lunchtime. That's backwards. I said have your lunch at breakfast time. So 10 a.m., grab yourself some fucking chicken nuggets, mate. I've just, I've just spotted Chris, the yeah. bone soldier. I like to think my job keeps me fairly fit. You're a fucking fireman, Chris. Of course it keeps you fit. You tosser. <laughs> My job, I'm a pie slinger. Hey, you know what? I don't. I grow these chins for fun. Oh, I know. You've got one coming on with that beard missing. I know. It's not. It's this angle. It's always been here. It's just, oh, is it? It's just straight oh, top. Yeah. I'm a masterpiece, but uh, this is why I grow. This is why I grow a neck beard. So, well, from any angle, it doesn't look like I got that many chins. <laughs> I still got a few, but a secret. A few chins. Yeah, I thought you were going to write something important on that board, like a motivational message. What did we discuss? You said you were going to write something on it for the viewers. I can't remember. I know I um, rubbed the S cock off. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I um, wiped the penis off the board. You worked it. Did you work the shaft on the board? Does that say drugs? No, it says 0847. Why have you got that? Is that in permanent marker? Yeah, it would appear so. <laughs> so you got like half, about a quarter of the way for a phone number and then realised, oh shit, wrong pen. And you know what? It's actually Lindsay's writing it. Uh, actually saying that the... That's Lindsay's writing, so I blame her. What else have I got up here? Emlet. Is that supposed to be omelette that you can't spell? That's, that's yours, Chris. Look at the dust on that. Oh, yeah, you can keep it, mate. Is that from that fucking... Timekeeper. Timekeeper. Oh, that's long gone. Don't worry about that. Who's that a picture of? Where? What do you ah. mean, where? Yeah. <laughs> Who do you reckon that is? That looks like uh, Malim Bele uh, Mayim Belek. Who? Mayim Belek. I've never heard of him. Amy from Big Bang Theory. Amy from Big Bang Theory. Or TV's Blossom. Yeah. Or, yeah. What's sorts of weird shit on there? A picture of a dead dog. That's on your bank card, isn't it? It is, actually, yeah. <laughs> You can tell I've been through your wallet while you're sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> what, claiming your money back from Chinese? Oh, don't even get me started. <laughs> that a that of a stone, that one. I was going to say, that's what um, I was saying about if you were going to Expo. If you, well, if you were both going to Expo. Because it just been <sighs> never ending again. See, the problem is I could, but I couldn't until Friday afternoon. I couldn't fly. Which one's this? Expo. I've got work Friday during the day, and then I'm off for nine days. Quick, quick but, show, of, quick show of hands. Um, how many people are going to Expo this weekend? A quick show of hands. Because ironically, um, none of us in this room are going. Yeah, 
You're going, aren't you, Jono? Nope. You're not? Nope. First Why? Ex-partner. Why are you not going? Can't, to be honest with me, I can't, can't afford it at all. Um, although I've had some lads from Suicide come forward to me and say, you know, we'll sort you out and that. I was like, do you know what? I think I'm just going to sit this one out. Plus, it's, it's um, Deanna's birthday on the Friday, so... Who gives nice. a fuck, mate? I, I went to Expo on my kid's first birthday. <laughs> I know, it was my first time last year I was picking you up from the airport. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm Kev's going now. I didn't think Kev was going. Oh, no, he's yeah. with... Um, oh, yeah, he isn't he? He found someone else to ponce a little... Ponce a little uh, Free stay off of <laughs> <laughs> number one promotion girl. That lad, ah, uh? number one promotion girl. That lad, Kev, he's got the boobs for it. <laughs> to be fair, I think we've all got the tits for it. Yeah, it's just true. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of names not going to Expo this year, isn't there? Yeah, it's a bit. Uh, I, I've decided I, I'm not I'm not doing Expo this year. I'm not saying I'll never do Expo again, but after the past couple, they've been good to us. Don't get me wrong. But I've but never I'm, gone to Expo for the for the for the event. To be honest, I've gone because of the amount of people that I like being around are there at the same time. Do you know what I mean? It's never been about it for me. The event itself, <laughs> neither here nor there. Uh, excuse me. Mm. I've ended twice there. First with TYV and then with Juice Sauce. And then the last one I went to it were uh, were consumer and I just had time to actually go around and see what I wanted to see, talk to people I wanted to talk to, and they were just they were a great crack. But when I'm work, when I'm working there, it were just a whole different experience. Yeah, I don't get me wrong. I love shows. I really enjoy the shows. That I know, I know everyone's going to say the shows are what you make them. Radi, 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 radi. You know, yeah, I get that. And you know, socially, they're great. In the evenings, they're fantastic. You know, because you get to see the people you only get to see twice a year at the shows. Yeah, exactly. But I've got to be honest, the last one spoils it for me. Why? I just did not enjoy it. Why not, Uh Yeah. Mm. I mean, it wasn't the best one I've ever been to, but it was enjoyable. Oh, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Oh. Can, can I just show you something before we... Um... Is it your wiener? Something, something I came across earlier. Something that um, was brought to my attention by a previous um, host of this show. There you go. What do you think to that? <laughs> <laughs> what? Idiots with beards and caps. Oh. <laughs> do you know who he is? I don't know who he is. Never into the is isn't that uh, yeah, something to do with battery charges? Yeah, Mr. Next Day Battery. Oh, uh, isn't he a tosser? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking bothered by what he thinks. Of he, 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 he oh, allegedly. Isn't he a tosser? He was a. Le- <laughs> oh, Chandler, turn the fucking show off. It was me. Oh, ah, I was going to say, sorry. it's not me. <laughs> sorry, Chandler. Always me. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, he was allegedly selling dodgy sales and and phone charges. Fake allegedly. Fake. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Hello, Chandelier. How are you doing? Hello. How are you? Oh, I'm not bad, mate. Oh, cool. Tired. I needed to message you, actually. I forgot. Oh, yeah, I know what you want to message me for. Yeah, I'll sort that out in a minute. Oh, God. I didn't know if you had or not, because... Uh, I don't know if you've seen the news, but a particular bank is facing a hell of a lot of shit. Oh, is that a? Uh, is that a? Oh, is that? That's not who you bank with by any chance, is it? Oh, it is. Oh my God! What's going on? Well, after all the bank gate issues I've had with TSB, 
they updated their systems from the Lloyd system to this new system created specifically for them last Sunday. And ever since and then, the world has gone haywire. No one can make, take, people can't take money out. People can't send money anywhere. They can't view their balance. Uh, some bloke found 113 grand in his account he didn't <laughs> own. Somebody yeah. else has got, I know somebody else has got access to like 35 grand, uh, 35 grands of ices. It's like, I never had an ice before. Now I suddenly have. Yeah. yeah. What do you do in those circumstances? Do you spend it or do you just. <laughs> I would spend as much of it as I absolutely could because it is the bank's fucking obligation to sort it out. Because people couldn't view their balance, remember? A lot of people mm. couldn't. So I, I don't check my balance very often as it is. Um, especially not considering the TSB app is shit. But um, so yeah, well, now it's even worse. Well, yeah, it doesn't fucking work. <laughs> but, so I'm, I'm, I don't check my balance often as it is. So I keep buying and keep buying and keep buying and buying and buying and buying and buying until I think, fuck, what's my balance? And then I look and I'm like 1,800 quid in my overdraft. And then I get paid, and the money goes back in, and I do it again. It's not so, buying and buying and buying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the problem That's... is, I don't check. If I kept buying and buying and buying and buying and buying, and I didn't know how much was there, I'd keep going until it was said card rejected. <laughs> you are like a child at egress. I am, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that is, a, to be fair, that is effectively what I do. <laughs> well, Kev, <laughs> RBS closing their loads more stores is the reason I moved to fucking TSB because they're closing our one. And I've had nothing but our sake. I genuinely, if RBS was like Bitcoin and there was no physical representation of it anywhere in the world, I would still rather use RBS than I would TSB. No, My, mortgage shit. Is RBS. My mortgage is with Nationwide. Oh, likewise. I got a really like good price of mine though. Mine was like uh, zero... Was it no one point two percent or zero point one two percent or something stupidly low? We got a really good deal on ours as well. I didn't have to pay a deposit. Didn't you? See, I had, I had a big deposit, so I haven't got a lot. I haven't got a massive mortgage. Mm. Uh, well, we have, we have ten percent. You had ten percent, yeah, and you you had twelve percent that you spent fucking twenty grand on doing every wall of your house in fucking Marvel paper. By the looks of it, <laughs> Chandler, do you know who died in uh, Infinity Wars? I don't want to know. Guess Batman. who it was? I uh, well, it's not Spider Man, is it? It's Batman. No. Yeah. You're there you go, I'm upset now. Batman's from DC. <laughs> Batman's <laughs> not even from Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> Took you a minute to work that out, didn't it? It did take me a bit to work that out. You, you were thinking, wait, is that Justice League? What? what? Nice. what? Hey. Oh, what? no. Have you got a parrot, Chandler? Have I got a parrot? What the fuck is that? It's a... It's a... It was a dog toy that um, my friend's dog has demolished, and my daughter thought it was a great idea to keep the squeaker. I don't need to keep that. For that sounds like someone felching a hamster. It does not. <laughs> that's, that's the sound my hamster made when I put it in the microwave. Ooh, I love hamster. <laughs> Please note, that sounds like you're giving sooty one under the table. <laughs> Can I just say, I have, never, shit downstairs now. I have never put a hamster in the microwave. Let's clarify that. I've done that. I've done that. What it the was. fuck is Chandler doing? Auditioning shit, I just, from... Uh, I just pulled my headphones out of my headphones. Uh, and I now can't hear a word. You pulled and your I'm... headphones out of your headphones. What an idiot. He called it. Yeah, he took yeah, his no, that's I'm calling him an idiot. What a moron. Well, that's better. <laughs> You pulled your headphones out of your headphones. I pulled my headphone cable out of my head because it, the, the, it's annoying. The cable's got two sockets, one that goes into the headphones and one that goes into the... Check this out, right? Go on then. What the hell? Is I don't that, know. Just, Let me oh, is that just a huge extension lead? 
No, it just that's how long the headphone cable is. Oh my god, that is like massive. Oh, sorry. Yeah, look at that. I thought my I thought my headphone cable was long. I can literally go through. Huh? What? Is the tail beach? No, nah, these are some shit, mate. Do you have tech or something? I got some wireless turtle beach ones in the house, but they're I mean, from Xbox. People have jumped on these these really cheap red. Yeah, I ordered some. Why not? I reckon it's all a big scam. Red what? Red what? Head headphones. Uh, red headphones. No, I guarantee they're probably worth what they cost to post. Mm. Not convinced. Have I, missed, have I missed free shit again? You have. Oh, yeah, I got. Look at check the free shit I got today, chandelier. Oh, what you got? What you got? So a friend of mine, well, a local shop, I suggested getting TYV in. So yeah. I requested some samples and got sent loads, and I got the ones they didn't like. <laughs> nice. Oh, look, a whole bottle of broken bad boy here. Look at that. Awesome. Some uh, raspberry pudding, some jam pasty, lemon Madeira cake. If I can, they gave me Nick lemon, shops for them all as well. The lemon Madeira cake. Yeah, Madeira. Yeah. Kev Lester's favourite juice, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> ice home dough. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna have to go in a sec. I need to blow my nose. Sorry. You need to blow your nose, and that means yeah. you have to leave us. Well. I don't have a roll of tissue in the shed, Chad. I just want me to take my underpants off. I'll be back I'd in a minute. I'd rather you didn't. I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to turn my camera off, but I'm going to leave my mic on in case you hear junkies robbing my shed and you can ring me up and warm me. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Are you excited about the weekend, Chandler? Uh, well, yeah, I'm only going on Friday, unfortunately, because I have to do this horrible thing called work at the weekend. Oh, that's it. Yeah, tell me about it. So uh, uh, I'm going on Friday, which is completely random. I've never been to a B2B day before. Um, but yeah. It's a lot more chilled. It's a lot more chilled, a lot more calm. Cool. I'm quite looking forward to it just to, uh, yeah, because uh, I, I really like Expo. And uh, yeah, so yeah, quite excited. I don't actually know of anyone... In particular, is there anyone in particular? Have they got any headline guests? Like, I mean, Jam had Ruby and Grim going, didn't they? Mm. Um, I haven't actually heard whether Vape Jam's got any any Vape famous going. No idea. No idea. There we go. Okay, it's just Jam. Uh, um, just uh, Expo, even. I'm not going. So, are you, you going to be? Are, you're not going to Germany, are you? I'm not going to either. You're not going to either. Are you just gonna you're just gonna sit at home and sulk? I sit at home and cry into a tissue. <laughs> no, no, I was saying just before you came, you know, the last one really lost it for me. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, Vepin Bogan's going. Who? Vepin Bogan. Mm. Oh of course he's in the UK, isn't he? Awesome. Apparently oh. um Rich Trippers is going as well. <gasps> Rip trippers! No way! Apparently, apparently, don't want me to that. Chandler, we the aroma that we're going to introduce him to our boner board. Introduce him to your boner board. The boner to, board. To our boner board. Why? Because Rip is like the lowest of the low on the board. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> yeah, do I see why? <laughs> I think I quite like Rip to be I fair. I do, I do, quite honestly. I don't know. I love Rip Trippers. He taught me how to build the first coil. Yeah. And some of the stuff I, I bought just on his say so and I were really pleased with it with everything I've had. The the way he uh, the way he edited his videos when he first started, uh, well he still does it, but the way he edited his, his videos was quite unique at the time because yeah. he just he just stop edited it to, to fuck and just didn't care. About. Hey, I don't know what you're talking about. No. <laughs> <laughs> RDA. RDA. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck have I come back to? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here, lads? Yeah, I must. <laughs> 
Clouds for days. <laughs> yeah, we're just, doing, we're just doing Rip Trippers impressions. You know. Oh, thick as tits. That's it. Thick as tits. <laughs> RDA. <laughs> Every time it blew a cloud, it were a lean. Like the furthest lean it took to the point you were nearly off screen. Yeah. Were you having, were you, when you were practicing to be a cloud competitor, did you, uh, did you compete against Rip Trippers videos? <laughs> what? <laughs> I can just imagine Jono sitting there blowing clouds up against the screen, seeing if he's bigger than the one on the video. <laughs> now I'm ready for the competitive Eve Secret, e e e Secret, E Liquid Vaping competitions, man. And by the way, my hands are all dry. Oh, don't get me started on <laughs> dry knuckles. You need, you need some Nivea, mate. No, you, you need special water with electrolytes in it. That's special water with electrolytes in it? Yeah. What, like the stuff that comes out of a tap? Can't you, just, can't, you just, can't you just rig your tap up to the main and, and electrocute your water and then you sort it? You need some palm olive. Some palm olive. <laughs> Dick. Absolute <laughs> asshole. <laughs> yeah. It, great RDA, that palm olive. Really is. <laughs> Are you intentionally still not got your video on? Because it's really random, just your voice coming out of um uh out of the um not the Entheon logo. I'm eating, I'm eating. Oh you're eating, okay. Are you are you have we got people in in chat that are, are phobic for people that eat, or, or or do you just not like people watching you eat? Um, <clears throat> it's not that I don't like people watching me eat. It's just not that I have a preference, to be honest. It's more because I don't want to see people. I don't want to subject people to me chewing up an egg mayo sandwich. <laughs> It looks more like a lion massacring a zebra in the Serengeti. Shut it, you. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. What? I was going to say, you can't even spell Serengeti. You can't even spell lion, you can't. You can't even spell egg, you prick. Mm. Egg sandwich. Well, that should be got an egg sandwich. Yeah. And, Roy, where's the cress? That is not a proper egg sandwich unless there's cress in it. Mm. To be honest, I'm sad. So just... Apparently Big and... Tom's just gone live. Can't do the show, but it can go live. Who's gone live? Tom. <laughs> Jabba the Hutt eating a prisoner. Mm. <laughs> oh, we <laughs> got <laughs> So what are you looking forward to? What are you looking forward to seeing at the weekend, Chanda? Oh, someone, the... someone other than his missus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually, uh, I'm actually looking forward to seeing if I can find someone who's got one of those, one of the saver RD, RDAs, RTAs, the uh, that new mouth to lung one from. What did uh, you call it? Vic, I called it an RTA. No, RTA. You called it saver. Saver, save, 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 you only looking forward to trying it. <clears throat> Sorry, yeah. save, save. I thought you meant saver, is it? Let me put it in the chat. Go on, are you putting it in chat? Yeah, I'm putting it in chat. Saver. Oh no, save all. Save all. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, the, the, my, my only criticism about, criticism about it is that it's going to confuse the fuck out of the Americans. Because, I mean, you know, they don't do OUR, do they? So wouldn't they? Mm. So so they would they would spell it. Has, has he done an? He ought to do. He ought to do an American version. Spell S A V O R. Because otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, they'll be like, well, so you are. They they won't know what they're doing with it. Obviously, not for the American market. 
Ooh, Badger. <clears throat> Ooh, just Dad Nick might have it from the fourth. Mm, may the fourth be with you. Star Trek Day. Star Trek Day? I'm going to kill you one day. <laughs> Star Wars. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Star Trek's better than Star Wars, so, you know. Don't even say that. Yes. <laughs> On every level. Oh, oh come on. Chris, how do I get rid of the wiggly button? Uh, you wait until the actual one comes out. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a prototype. <laughs> See, that's oh. where my uh, that's where my wife's mum, my mother in law, that's where she went wrong. Because she was born my wife born on um, Star Wars Day, but then named after a Star Trek character. Well, what's she called? Diana. But Blood, oh, cool. blood poisoning from a liquid I have never heard of happening. It's real. It's real. Believe it. Is it? Yeah, the male brought it out. No, I'm joking. It's absolute bullshit. Oh, <laughs> blood right. poisoning. Is this actually a is this actually a news article? I don't know. Someone just said it in the chat. No. Someone okay. Having, someone having lols. Someone having lols. I've never heard about blood poisoning. If, I, if, you, if you try, if you try taking e-liquid intravenously, yes, I could see that you could get uh, blood poisoning from it. Yeah, so I wouldn't recommend trying it intravenously at all. I don't imagine it tastes very nice intravenously either. I'm guessing you lose yeah. all the flavour. Yeah, I would imagine yeah. so. I prefer mine. Yeah. Supposit I prefer mine suppository for the maximum flavour. Uh, yeah, but you certainly get the nick hit. <laughs> and the sting. And the sting. <laughs> that, that, is that his name? <laughs> is Nick administering it? Is Nick? <laughs> and Nick hit no, the anus. No. No, that, sound, that sounds really bad, doesn't it? No, Nick was the bloke your doctor called in to watch him administer it. Oh, put his hand on his shoulder. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What was we talking about a minute ago? Oh, yeah, Star Wars or Star Trek chat. What one's better? And the loser, I've not seen either of them. The loser watching. of the two, the loser of the two will have to write an apology letter to the other. So if Star Trek are voted the best, I'll write you an apology letter, Chandler. If Star Wars are the best, you've got to write me one. An apology letter. Mm -hmm. mm. Cinnamon vanilla flavour is the main reason. I, th I think what you're looking for is diacetyl, and that's the chemical compound that's made up in, in bakery and sweet flavours. Um, cinnamon, nothing to do with it. Um, but you will not, you'll find very, very few flavors actually contain diacetyl anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do a very quick bit of Google foo and and see if I can find anything about it because it's not something I have heard. Um, blood poisoning e liquid and see what comes up. We got four votes for Star Wars, one vote for Star Trek. I'm going to be a then. Star Trek. You don't yeah. know. You've already voted. And I'm sorry, Chandler, but you're going to have to get your slate and chisel out, mate. My slate and chisel? From no, school. I'm, you I'm can't gonna... vote either, you dickhead. <laughs> Who said both shite? Go and stand in the corner. Go on. Go, on, go and stand in the corner and think about what you've just said. <laughs> Star Trek, because Ian is my leader. Hey! <laughs> no, Ian is a Klingon. <laughs> Come, I was going to say that's what I usually get called. Klingon's not usually one of. <laughs> Star, Trek awesome. Star Trek Discovery is amazing. It's the first Star Trek I ever watched where they said "fuck." Ha 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 ha! I I sat there saying they said "fuck on Star Trek." They said "fuck on Star Trek." <laughs> so. And what did your daughter say to you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. So she, just, she just looked at me and went, Dad, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Stop being such a sad cunt. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, she was sat on, uh, she was sat doing her, you playing on YouTube or whatever she was doing. I don't know. Oh, How long ago was this? You can only get blood poisoning if the skin is broken. So if you're gentle inserting it, then 
Science Daily. Oh, right, there you go. Cinnamon, yeah, here you go. So this is uh, in Science Daily, whatever this is. Cinnamon, vanilla, and buttery e-cigarette flavors are among the most toxic. And mixing flavors is more damaging than vaping just one. Oh, great, mm. lovely. Right, I'm going to have to have a look at this. Uh, what was that? Um, wasn't there a documentary about it, and it would actually prove that menthol was the worst one? Oh yeah, they did. They did something about. Um, yeah, they subjected. I don't know what whether it was it lung tissue or I don't know some sort of cells. It was something um, about the emissions from uh, menthol that's actually more toxic than the rest. The menthol was actually well, killing sorry. cells or something. Yeah, don't but the don't level of difference. Because all they've got back is mint and tobacco. Don't, but, don't let them take the mint away. Listen, <laughs> menthol actually was proven worse than the rest, but it was still proven to be significantly better than smoking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't that it was proven to be bad, it was just proven to be worse. And, you know, being flicked on the nose is better than being flicked on the hand. You, you know what I mean? It's worse than being flicked on the hand, but it's not necessarily a bad. Do you know what I mean? But the thing is that that whole that whole study is based around diacetyl. When was that study? What dates on that, Chandler? Uh, uh, there you go. Can you oh, see hang it? On, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Da, 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 da. January the thirtieth, twenty eighteen. So, it's, so it's, that's that's old news, though. I don't get why are medical journals. Um, and actually, I don't know what this page is because I mean. If it, it, it this can't be a, a particularly a proper one because it starts off saying sugar and spice are not so nice. <laughs> um, no, it was, looks like it was actually in a different journal, Frontiers in Physiology. So I want to have a look at. I'll have a look at that and see what it thinks, and see what it actually says. Yeah, but that's what I mean. <laughs> data <laughs> will be read in any way that benefits the person that wants to accumulate the right data. Yeah, absolutely, and chances are, I mean, there were... There what were was also, it that saying about data collected? They were also saying, oh, I love doing that. Look at that. Whee! Um, what does it feel like to have a computer that can go past the first two screens? It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it really um, is. <laughs> yeah. Mark, boy. Hang on, I'm getting data from um, Badger. Bear with. So I was just saying that I know some of these, they also said that um, it... Uh, even smoking menthol, uh, smoking, vaping menthol, uh, it's still safer than walking down Oxford Street. Yeah. If you walk down Oxford Street, you are inhaling more, uh, more than more, more than what was it, a packet of 20 or something? You might as well smoke, was it 20 or 40 a day? I can't remember. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've been to a few places that like that, though. Yeah. You walk through Camden Market, mate, <laughs> you'll get by all sorts of. Fumes. There we go. This is one from um, this is one in from Badge. Um, am I sharing? Yes. Yeah. yeah, you're sharing. I can't read it because it's oh, there you go. An, an ox oxidative oxidative um, response is induced by exposure to commonly used e-cigarette flavoring chemicals and flavored e-liquids without nicotine. So this has come from America. I'm scrolling down. Da, 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 da. So two monocytic cells. There we go. Chemicals. Diacetyl. Yes, we know. Cin cinnamaldehyde. Acetoin, yeah, vanillin, maltol. We anything that's got aldehyde in it, it, it sounds sounds quite scary. To be fair, isn't, isn't that what they embalm dead people with? That's formaldehyde. Oh, okay. Um, and prior to that, it's rohypnol. Uh, what is it in rohypnol? Rohypnol what sounds fun. That's that. That's, that sounds like it's a wee. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry, I thought they were. I thought they were promoting the um, heat, not burn. I thought it was all one-sided. Uh, then I still, I, I still don't. I, I, I love the ends 
uh, acronym. I still don't. Uh, I still don't understand why they didn't go with um, personal electronic nicotine inhalation system. I, th I think that would have been perfect. <laughs> I bet you would love to be able to call it that as well, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'm just gonna have a vape on my penis. <laughs> <laughs> What was it? Uh, oh, there was a joke about Rohit Mill that Mark made me think of, and now I've forgotten it. Oh, Sorry. yeah. Was, uh, does this smell, does this does this not does this sock smell like chloroform to you? This <laughs> woman says no. He goes, oh, oh, sorry, that's my love sock. This one. <laughs> <laughs> It's oh, on a little dear. cartoon strip. I was like, that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> we should do, we should sit and play Cards Against Humanity one night live. Really? What's, what, why, what is that? What? I think it'd be hilarious. <laughs> sit and play Cards Against Humanity against each other live on air. Is it a cards game? That's not something I've come across. Am I showing my age again? Should I should I be down with the kids and know what that is? You should definitely know what Cards Against Humanity is. Okay. Cards get a phrase and they'll be like blanks out when you've got to fill in the blanks but like Hobbs on it is. That was kind of a good analogy, but he can barely speak English. It's a it's a card game, right? Where you there's a you're given a load of rude things, like really fucked up things like and then you'd get phrases with blank spaces and you'd need to put in the blanks to make rude words then people the one of the players would have to vote on which one was the, the best okay not necessarily can't we just play mornington crescent we'll be done the fuck is that oh come on you don't you've not heard of mornington crescent i know i i feel truly not down with the kids like chandler is is that, really? Come on, someone in chat. Does anyone know how to play Mornington Crescent? Is that is that the posh version of Soggy Biscuit? You first, Cuthbert. <laughs> Chandler's still planning on uh, one day working up the courage to, to actually press the doorbell and run away rather than just run away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, wow. you're so middle class, child. Oh, I know. Completely middle class, darling. What's it called? Uh, Mornington Crescent. Are you doing Are you doing Google oh. food? I'm surprised you don't have a Bentley logo on your wall instead of a Ford one. <laughs> oh, my God, it's about trains. It's it's about the uh, London Underground system. So it's, uh, it, it's basically you start off at Mornington Crescent and you've got to try and get around the underground system and end up getting back to uh, Mornington Crescent. Is it, is, it, is it filth in any way? Is it inappropriate? No. no it is still, what, yes. What, what tunnels do the trains go into? <laughs> <laughs> so basically you'd start off, so for example, Mark would say Mornington Crescent and I would go Tower Bridge. Yeah, and, you, and you've got to kind of work your way around the uh, London underground system. People who live in London are at an advantage, I must admit. And living in Yorkshire, I do tend to need a, uh, uh, a an underground map to to uh, get the best out of it. But Oh, so you can't just say any station in London. It has to be one on that, in that route. There's, 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 there's different rules that, yeah, you have to Google the rules and, and yeah. But, but basically, you you end up going around the going around the London Underground, and it's the person who gets back to Mornington Crescent that wins. You don't. <laughs> Are you looking at videos of the train station? <laughs> Please stay at the edge so you don't get sucked off. Fuck this. <laughs> yeah, fuck this. I stand at the edge. <laughs> I paid 25 quid to that bird to do that, and she's disappeared to the <laughs> toilets and never come out. <laughs> How have I never heard of this game? Because it was probably made in 1917. That's what <laughs> The next train arriving at Platform 2 is the <laughs> six to Mornington Crescent. <laughs> Welcome to Mornington Crescent Talk UK. 
<laughs> oh god! I used to play Ludo. Radio <laughs> Four for the win. Yes, you do have to do it in an upper class accent. You can't say you can't say the. Uh... A lot, Chad, Chandler. Is this just like the game you made up when when you stayed over at mine, where we we, we put a sock in my mouth and when when I fell asleep, I had to ignore the condom. I woke up with it hanging out my bum. Because you made those rules up, you made those rules up that day, and I wasn't too happy. But the game was rather enjoyable. Kind of, but with, without the sticky ending. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why can't I have this much fun conversation about this too? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! You actually have a laugh, with Chandler. Oh, I miss you, Stu. I miss you, Stu. <laughs> that, that there's some periods in my life where I need to be a bit more uh, grouchy, and and you bring that to my life. So I wish you were here. <laughs> <laughs> do, we, do I not make you grouchy enough? No, you make me a little bit happy, <laughs> a little bit horny, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit excitable, a little bit of coy. You know, when you, you know when you're about 17 and, you, and you're looking at this bird over a bar and you think, I'm not 18 yet. And if I go too close to the bar, the barman will, uh, will, will, won't believe I'm 18. So I need to yeah. just wait over here. That, and that's the reason you never speak to her, because you're worried about getting kicked out. Even when yeah. you're 30, and you should, you're allowed to be there. You, that's just still your excuse. You've still, got that, you've, you've still got in the back of your mind, actually, I'm really not sure whether I ought to be here. They'll yeah. twig that I'm not really supposed, you know, that I don't fit in. They'll they'll, they'll realise I've got the wrong trainers on, and they'll just, you know, <sighs> out. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, what the you, hell? You, they are not Adidas. Oh, go on, put off, off on your bike. See ya. No, it's where you've got to have uh, your black shoes on. Did you ever ever feel that when around the nightclubs? Any nightclub you went to, you could wear the most ugliest fucking Hawaiian shirt, but as long as you had black shoes mm. on, you were fine. Come in, mate. So, sorry, everyone just glanced, yeah. just completely skipped over the word Adidas. <laughs> Adidas. <laughs> Adidas. Oh, Adidas. Yeah, sorry. You're so fucking middle class. Oh, yes, Adidas, darling. Yes, well, I've, got, I've, got a, I've got a Porsche. Oh, Charlie. Oh, Charlie. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it's got to be on the end because it's German. You pronounce the E. Fuck off, it's a Porsche. Get over have you, it. Have you... There's two things I want to ask. One, did you know Nike is actually Nike? That's, it's actually Nike. Yeah, and did they, you know Did you know that cream eggs are actually creme eggs? The creme eggs. Yeah. They're creme what, eggs. So why in the adverts do they sing, Cadbury's cream egg? How do you do it? How do you eat yours? Well, it said on the news there was a there was a Twitter uh, screenshot from Cadbury saying it's actually creme. Unless that was on eight, April the first. Well, I was going to say, it, was that at the beginning of the month? It might have been. It might have been. <laughs> I don't pay too much attention to what day of the week it is, unless I'm off work. Yeah. <laughs> no, every other day just merges in, everyone, Every other day just merges into one. Do you know, yeah. you know the, the moving images you get on the internet? GIFs. You call them GIFs. I came across yeah. one the other day that called them a GIF. That was a GIF. All right. Okay. Well, apparently. And didn't uh, you call them? Me didn't you call memes memes the other day? Memes. Yeah. Memes. Memes. Oh, memes. You were memes, memes. and someone else memes. That's right. It's well, memes. Themes. Right, well, apparently, uh, Chris, just to... Hang on, let me get me... Uh, screen share. Let me get this up. Apparently, they've changed the name of these. These, these are now called Twikes. Twikes? Twikes. Yeah. Yeah, Twikes, Twikes chocolates. So, uh, That's so yeah. That's a lie. Yeah. So you know, we 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 just got to get into the uh, into the habit now of, of going in and saying I would I would like twikes. If you actually look at the dot of the eye, it just looks like a fucking pause button. Oh, it does. What's it, it supposed does. to be? <laughs> Hang on, let me get two sticks. It's actually supposed to be the two bars of twix that you get in it. Let me get that back up. Oh uh, yeah, so it does. <sighs> yeah, that pisses me off. There's some poor child trying to press that trying to. Uh, 
See, so that's oh, a lie. And also, Chandler, yeah. <laughs> Chandler, if you click that other image there. Which one? Uh, this the one. one. Down one. That one? Yeah, click that. Five times two. Now, that makes me sad also. Because the bars inside them are half the size of a fucking normal bar. Yeah, absolutely. And have you seen the ones where you just get nine randomly? You don't you don't yeah. get you, you don't get the dual packs, you just get nine fingers. I'm like, that's an odd yeah. number. Odd number. I'm curious, right? Do you know if you look at the British one, the second one in Chandler? Whoa. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> let me go back. There we go. Uh, that one. one in, the eye hasn't got the paws, but all no, it's a, it's, a, it's a square one. That's just rough. I think that's the old one. No. Nah. Have any of you been looking at that long enough? It doesn't even look like a word anymore. It doesn't. Yeah, it just looks like weird, did it? By the way, have you ever have you ever had your coffee with a with a Twix? No. Yeah. What you need to do is you need to bite one end of the Twix off, right. then bite the other end, and then suck your coffee then, through it. And suck your coffee through it. Oh, I do that with oh. club. I do that with club bars. That is just. If you like a lot of chocolate or nibiscuit, that is that is definitely middle class. Yeah. Don't do it with coffee, do it with port, darling. Port. <laughs> port. No, I am I am proper Yorkshire, so it is port. <laughs> it is port. Oh, okay. Whereabouts are you from? Leeds. Leeds. Actually work, not far from you. Do you? Yeah. He knows exactly where you live. He comes to your house and snips your pants while you're that at is, work. That's scary. Apparently, the reason, for, the reason for the poor pause was their was their slogan. Apparently, pause more, see more. Gimp, that shit. Really? Pause um, it. Pause it like you mean it. Guess what they call Audis in uh, Scotland? Crap. No, go on. Anyone know? Shite. Asda. No. <laughs> Aldis, they call Oddies up here. Oddies, they don't pronounce the L. <clears throat> no, not Aldi. Aldi. Like Aldi, as in the car. I oh, thought yeah. you were talking about the supermarket. No, yeah, that's what call... I thought. What do they what call the supermarket then? They... <laughs> what do they call Aldis? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Asda. Metaos? Letters, that's... Uh, also in Scotland, they call Peugeots Peugeots. Peugeots. Yeah. What the fuck's up with that? Well, yeah. I always say, look, if 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 we were gonna, if if you should be able to call, like you were saying with the the, the Porsche with the E on the end and Nike with the E on the end. If you want to call, if Nike, that's fine. That's how we pronounce it over here. It, it, it's like. Um, Germany. If we were calling them, if we were calling it, pronouncing it properly, we would pronounce it Deutschland. Yeah. And we don't. We call it Germany. So yeah, that's, that's the name of the country. Yeah. Yeah, but they call it. Germany they call it. Is, Deutsch, they call it Deutschland. Why don't we call it Deutschland? Because Germ Deutschland is German for Germany. They speak German. <laughs> you fucking sausage. They speak a different yeah. language. <laughs> they don't call I England understand. England because I we call England. I understand that, England. and in and exactly that, that is that is that is that is my point exactly because no, in German because... in German you call a Porsche a Porsche. That's how they pronounce it in German. Yeah, in English we pronounce it Porsche. Yes, but Chandler, that does. It's a different language. Yeah, it's like in French, they don't call England England because we call it England. They call it Angleterre. Yeah, absolutely. That's French for England, the same way Deutschland is German for Germany. Yeah, <laughs> like France, we call it. <laughs> oh my God, this is like talking to Kev Lester about why he shouldn't take his pants off in the playground. <laughs> it's like, it's, 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 isn't it? <laughs> I'm joking. That is a joke. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I am. I am. I'm sorry, Kevin. That was a joke. Chris, apologise. <laughs> I did. I are you did telling apologize. me? You're telling me there's something wrong with taking your pants off in the playground? Yes. <laughs> are you not supposed to do that? It's really? Even if you <laughs> shit yourself, you do not take your pants off in the playground. Oh, for fuck's sake! That's where what I've been going it? wrong. 
What was it? That even marked? even if even if you're a teacher. Especially if you're a teacher. Is that why I got sacked? Fuck me. There you go. Never mind. Mark got sacked. (laughs) (laughs) Can I I just ask, Mark, what was that thing we thought that Microwave was in Welsh? Popsy Ping. Popsy Ping. We've discussed this before. And that's wrong. It's it's not called a Popsy Ping. I heard it was, though, and I was really sad that it wasn't. Oh, is it not? I still like like the Welsh for carrot. Carrot. What's that? Carrot. (laughs) Moron. Apparently, a carrot is moron in Welsh, which I love it. There you go. <laughs> maybe, just, they just just, me. maybe they were shouting carrot moron to a ginger kid. Yeah. That could be it. That could be the link. That's what, yeah, the, the link between ginger hair and, and um, yeah. Carrot anyway, top. that's it. It's moron head. You're not going to call a stupid person a carrot, are you? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you're a carrot. Oh, yeah, I see people, I see people getting really upset. Carrot. You yeah. fucking vegetable. It doesn't even make it. It's not even an insult. <laughs> yes, mate. You wanted to talk about something tonight on the show. Did I? Yeah. Oh, carrots. What was it? Your idea. Ah, guilty pleasures. Did you have an idea? I did. did I, had a, I had an idea. I wanted to know what people's guilty pleasures were, both in life and in vaping. I want to know there's one, must be one thing in vaping that you really love that you think everyone else, you know everyone else thinks is shit. Mine is the mesh RDA. <laughs> I know everyone thinks it's shit, but I love it. I think it's awesome. Really? You like the mesh I, RDA? I genuinely do. You get a fucking three mil screwdriver, right? You put that on the deck before you shove your cotton in, and then you put your metal Sorry? down. You're doing that. You're doing that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then once you've got your your coil in, you That's... take that screwdriver out. Stop and doing creates... that. You're gonna. We're not gonna get this monetized, you know, if you keep Shut doing up, that. You. Sorry. So <laughs> there's there's the tunnel of cotton. Thank and you. there's an air hole underneath for juice to get right in there. It doesn't get dry. Chandler, the problem yeah. is we'll never get monetized because of Chris. I swear to you, uh, you can't say fuck or bug again, yeah? Or shit ass or cock. Fuck Franny Trust- shit wanks. You just can't say them. <laughs> you sound like that girl off Paul. Have you seen Paul? <laughs> no. I thought you said porn. It was like no. watching. <laughs> no, Paul, the film Paul about the alien. There's a bird that's like, there's a bird that's like really religious, and uh, Paul puts some puts the the knowledge of the universe into her brain because he, he's sick of her going on about Jesus, and he's like, no, this is how it actually happened. And he projects all this information into her head. And she's like, so, so, so we don't have to pray every day, and he's like, nope, and he's like, and we can curse, and he's like. She's like, boobs, dick, fuck. <laughs> Cock shit, dick. Oh my God, you fucking twat, cunt, fit, fuck, dick, minge. And then she was like, proper excited about it. And then she's like, oh my God, we can fornicate. She grabs Simon Pegg's hand and sticks it on her tits. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's such a good film. Oh, I'm going to have to watch that one. You've got one yeah. like Simon Pegg. You should watch it. It's brilliant. It's Nick <laughs> Frost and Simon Pegg, yeah. <laughs> oh, the guilty pleasures. Yeah, so oh. we'll go in through vaping first, then we'll do life. So my, like, we'll do films or music or something like that. So yeah, mine is the Mesh RDA. I fucking love it. and Everyone hates it. Mine is I've stopped. actually been offered about six by, for free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? what would be my guilty... Oh, everything channel everything there you go uh that is uh, i still love this juice i can't help it ambrosia there you go so i like everyone, it and everyone thinks it's shit everyone i everyone i i seem to go ambrosia is really great they tend to go meh and um the, the best response i've had is yeah it's all right i was thinking you'd probably put up your 24 foot uh drip tips oh yeah, there you go. Uh, I haven't actually. Have I got? I haven't got anything. Oh, yes, I have. I'll put it on there. There you go. 
I do like my long drip tips. <laughs> and everyone, the, everyone hates the, sheer entertainment. I, I, I've been, you know, I've always been tried. I've tried to find a decent, you know, like the um, pipe. What do they call it? Parsons? Is it is it Parsons pipe? The 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 one where it's curved at the end, so you can just sit with it in your mouth like that. Pipe. Yeah. But see. Pipe. I don't smoke the reefer. That was such a good fucking song back in the day. But that, yeah, I like I like my long drip tips, especially on my uh, mouth to lung devices. Don't know why. Oh, it's so ugly. You see, for me, I think mine. That's it. That's it, Gary Dibley. That's... It could be a fucking dot cotton for all I care. <laughs> <laughs> It looks fucking horrible. <laughs> it could be made by Cartier. I wouldn't want it anymore. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> the Vicar and Dibley. <laughs> oh, mine would have to be um, Barista Brew. But what? Wait, wait. Uh, Barista Brew or Barista Range? By two over. Uh, Barista Brew, the coffee one. I never got to try any. Caramel macchiato. Actually, I might have a bottle in here. It tastes lovely, but it fucking stinks. Let's have a look in here. It's not that one, is it? The Yorkshire. No, the Yorkshire no, no, it's no. no. I was trying that before. Uh, oh, I've got some Boston Bad Boy here that I haven't used yet. It's the other ones are that. Uh, ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. somewhere. I've got this stuff. This stuff's fucking awesome. Did you try this, Mark? No. That was that coffee syrup next to us at Expo, the last Expo. They were giving out ice creams with syrup on it, and it was the it was the e-liquid concentrate made into ice cream syrup. Do you remember? I, I remember people keep on coming back with shit tons of ice cream, but... Well, yeah, because I went yeah. and paid fucking, like... 60 quid for ice cream for everyone on the stand took four of us to carry it all and then i found out that they were giving away free ice cream on a fucking store next door <laughs> i was raging i spent honestly it was about 58 quid I spent really? ice cream ice cream. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for the whole stand <laughs> i'm fucking raging oh that sounds about right <laughs> i'm gonna crack open this boston bad boy i don't think i've used this I don't, even know, I don't even know what mine is. They probably see. Matt, I think Matt knows what this is. This is what we call P forty five custard. P forty five custard. This is probably one of my guilty pleasures. P forty five custard. And any particular reason it's called P forty five? An exact reason why it's called P forty five. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> this is the reason why I. We'll say parted ways with the Yorkshire Vapor. I'm not going to go into details about it, but... <laughs> that was a polite way of putting it, Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> parted ways with CYV. Have, uh, you sorted your, have you sorted your shit out with them? Are you all right with them now? Yeah. Yeah, sound. Then we'll tell him. He, uh, he got sacked, right? Because <laughs> 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 he, he was suspected... Of uh, no, you weren't suspected of nicking their recipes, were you? It was a fact that he had access to their recipes and they didn't know what, what he did or didn't, what information he did or didn't remember for the recipes. So it was a, it was a, to be fair, John, it was a bit of a silly thing to do, wasn't it? One, no, no, that wasn't it. Uh, somebody, one of, one of my good friends asked, uh, put up on, put a post up saying, um, I've got down on my shit juice for rest of the end of the month. Can anybody help me out? So maybe me says, yeah, I've got some um, custard cream. Donut King. It was Donut King, and I've got some nice custard cream. Now, Chef's Vapor do a concentrate called Nice Custard Cream, and it's the nice, nice, whatever you want to call it, biscuits. Yeah, the biscuits, yeah, yeah. yeah the custard cream biscuits. That blended, and it's just, it's a beautiful custard. It's the best custard I've, I've ever had, hands down. And so I says, yeah, I've got nice custard cream. So why um, wires were crossed, and it's it just it, it got all out of hand, and that's how we end up parting ways. So but yeah, but why? Like, what what wires got crossed? Why were the wires getting crossed? Because, because come on, it, we're at a point now. Where... 
the way I see it, it were because I was working for a juice manufacturer, but it wasn't that I was uh, making my own juice at bottom of it. I were actually, I were doing, uh, I were giving it to one of my friends. Well, I thought I was selling it, but I won't. So, conflict of interest, I think, is yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, that's that's how that happened. Um, but that's now why we call it P forty five custard. Cool. So, <laughs> so that that's that's the reason of that. Um, but yeah, I mean, me, me and I, I speak to Dale quite regular. Um, the, the guilty pleasure has got to be, and we can't deny it. Free shit. Mm. No matter how much we bang on about it, people who beg for free shit at shows and stuff, we still accept free shit, and we love it. Don't, don't get me wrong, I don't. I enjoy getting free shit, but at the same time, I don't take. I don't take the piss out of people that accept free shit. I accept, yeah. take the piss out of people that approach people and beg for free shit. They, I've got no issues with people taking for stuff that's given to them. What yeah. I have the issues is if you if you suck someone off twenty four hours a day, seven days a week, so they will give you free shit. Yeah, they piss me off. Yeah, that's I, I, there's a fine line between. I think. <laughs> oh yeah, of course there is. And the thing is, you know, I'm I'm not sort of I don't like paying for stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not gonna lie, I just don't like paying for stuff. If I could have my house without paying a mortgage, I would. If I could have my car without paying for fuel, I would. But the fact of the matter is that I'm not a thief. But if someone is going to give me something that I want for free, I'll take it. But I'm not an idiot. If someone's given me any old shit that I don't want, but I'll take it because it's free, then I'm a tramp. You see, I'm, I'm not into free shit. What's that that you happened to? Uh, I don't even know. If you, I don't even. Know, I don't even know if he paid for the batteries. <laughs> <laughs> I probably didn't. Actually, technically, all of these prototypes are free. I didn't pay for them, so I got this for free. <laughs> I got this for free. I got my. Oh, hang on. <laughs> You'll get a go on one, you can't. I only got enough to make three full sets. Because they <laughs> when I said I wanted seven, they sent me Hang on, hang enough. on. Don't say, too much, don't say too much about the full sets. <laughs> no, no. But when I asked for seven, they gave me enough to make three and a half. Oh, okay, because uh, you had to put them together. Yeah, because because they, they thought I meant just seven of a certain thing. Oh, okay. So that so I actually changed a few bits, and then they're um, they're sending out replacement parts. So these are very rudimentary. You'll get a nicer one, or you'll get Mark's one when he stops using it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've seen the pictures; they do look really, really nice. Some a close up of it. Absolutely not. <laughs> what a prick! <laughs> it cost you fifty p a peak. Right. Just hang on, I'll, 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 I'll pay you in the money that I get from my Pandora. Here you go, flog Oh, wait a minute, nobody wants one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If you, I was going to say, if you ask, uh, if you ask Chris nicely, he's got a shit ton of clones. <laughs> I have actually got a few clones. <laughs> if anyone wants a clone Pandora, hey Johnny, you like free shit. You want a clone Pandora? <laughs> I, I, I could offer you. I could offer you a bottle, of, a bottle of juice that I jizzed in. If it was free, you'd take it. So other than yeah. other than vaping, other than Johnny's serious eyebrows, what are they about? What are they serious eyebrows? Sad. You look very serious. You look like I've just knocked on your door to deliver the news I've run over your cat. Well, they've been used to me because I don't have a cat. I know, I've ran it over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Come on, Mark, what's your guilty pleasure? What, vaping? Yeah. I just said, Barista Brew. Oh. oh, yeah, shit, you did. All right, it's back to me then. Uh, films... Mean Girls, I think it's probably 
one of my favorite films. Actually, Titanic is one of my favorite films. Oh, no. 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 I will, I'll put my hands up. I cried, Only that's... I cried at the Titanic. Three and a half hours of my life I will not get back. No. <laughs> I love Titanic, but just, just that scene... But they're in the back of that car, <laughs> and when he's painting there, they're my, no, I'm joking. Uh, no, Mean Girls is genuinely a uh, a guilty pleasure, and Dream Girls, you know the musical, love it. Lindsay sat there nodding, agreeing with you. Yeah. For me, for me, my guilty pleasure for film would be Sister Act. I love Sister Act. There's nothing wrong with that. I think oh, it's yeah, a I like film. absolutely yeah. belling film. If Chandler says Mab, uh, says Matilda, I'm calling child services. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Tank Girl. I love Tank Girl. Tank Girl is awesome. It, oh, is, in, it, is, it. it is so, so... I, I watched it the other day. It is so, so dated, but it is absolutely fabulous. Have you seen uh, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place? No. Oh, it is amazing. It's a comedy written with that guy that's in um, uh, the IT crowd. You know, the guy that works upstairs in the office. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. So it's, the it's guy written. who's really loud and incredibly... Yeah. He, he's in it, and it's written and directed in a way that looks like it's a really shit homemade production. Right. So, like, it's like... I'm walking down the corridor and a black cat steps across my path and you can see the arms of someone backstage chucking a cat on, in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking funny. Honestly, it's weird as fuck, but it is brilliant. So clever. Uh, yeah. I've Back to you, that. Mark. What's your guilty pleasure? And I'm, I'm not talking uh, sperm burpers six. <laughs> Damn it. Come farters. I think that's actually a big sausage pizza. <laughs> <laughs> they they are all genuine, by the way. Google all of them. Babe Station. There you go. <laughs> like, I, I know, I know, I know this pornography. Yeah, you know, Babe uh, Station. You, 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 come, I, you come in, you come in, you're completely drunk. You just sit and watch Babe Station and think, yeah, actually, my life's all right. I, I I was I was looking for uh, the BBC and the proms. Yes. But, uh, I went Excellent. I went two channels. I went two channels Excellent. below the radio yeah. station. Yeah. I went yeah. I went two channels below the radio stations, and there was this this lady there, uh, <laughs> where 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 absolutely absolutely nothing, and you can see her breasts and everything. <laughs> you watch. Um, I was waiting for Delia Smith to bake an apple pie. Yes. <laughs> I thought, fuck me, fuck me, Nigella. My Nigella looks good. <laughs> <laughs> why should I pick the nose? Why? Why is she put the icing there? <laughs> Any of you watch Gog Gogglebox? Gogglebox. Yes. I, I have seen Gogglebox. Not not much, but yeah. Do you know yeah. the 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 posh middle aged couple? That's the bloke there? died, didn't he? Yeah. Huh? No, 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 not those. They weren't middle class. The old people. No, they, no, they were the old ones. It was the guy who died. No, yeah. not those. No, no. Look here, Cynthia. When I was at Oxford. Oh, those two are always drunk. No, they always got a glass of wine. No, you're Steph talking Dom. Steph and Dom. I don't know. I don't watch it enough. I've watched. Oh, hang on, hang on. I, I need to find them now. I've, I've seen it. I've seen it all of twice. Have you seen Which... the button yet? The button, anyone? The button? No. Yeah. Oh, it's brilliant. So it's like Gogglebox, but they put a TV in their house with a with a button on top that's red, and they, for twenty four hours they've got to keep an eye on this button as a family collectively. Someone has to be watching this button at all times, and at any point during the day it could go green, and then they, they they've all got to press it, and then they get the instructions to do a task. And as a family, they've got to complete this task um, to earn money. And then at the end, the, the people who had won the most money get to keep it. Or they get to gamble on and play. So it's like mixing Gogglebox with a game show. And they had this thing that was like, something has arrived on your doorstep. So they went to the doorstep and it was like an envelope. And it said, 
please move all the inflatables inside the house without using any sharp objects. And you can see like a, a, a lilo and a, like a blow-up dolphin. And then the camera pans out and their whole fucking garden is filled with them. <laughs> like the, there's a giant ball that must have been about 20 feet in diameter. And massive rubber rings and boats and shit. <laughs> and they've got to get it all into the house without popping it. What's this called? The, the button. And they've got to get it in there. Can they not deflate it? That's well, cool. they can, but they can, but they've got to do it in the fastest time. So if you spend an hour and a half deflating a fucking twenty foot diameter beach ball, do you know what I mean? So what you've got to find uh BBC, I think. I or channel four, one or two. I'm, I'm talking about um Giles and Mary. Got a picture? Giles and Mary, they're the most middle class. Oh, are they on a new series. Constantly bickering. Oh, I've, ne I've never seen them. Oh, YouTube, Giles and Mary. They're just... Bear with us. They're Bear like, with they're like Bear with. jokes. Oh, oh, have you what are they called? Giles and Mary. Have you seen um, the Miranda Hart show? Yeah. Oh, oh, M Miranda, she called it. And there's that really posh bed. And they keep doing... Uh, What's that face? That bird out of M people's. <laughs> no, not M people. Is it M people? Heather Small's impressions. Yeah. Oh, God. That mum in that show is the poshest person I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, my guilty pleasure. I've decided for films. Go on. Dirty Dancing. Oh, I thought you were going to say Star Wars. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're telling me. You owe me a written apology. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe <laughs> I've just seen your message on Facebook, Matt. How long ago did you send that? <laughs> like, I should have done it. I should have done it. <laughs> Fuck. Do you want an, uh, another vaping one? I, uh, I. I don't know. Bam Skillicious. Have you ever tried this? This bottle is old as fuck. It tastes like mouthwash. Hey, look, manufactured in 2014. Oh my lord. And it tastes like mouthwash. It always tastes like mouthwash, but it's amazing. Really? I can't explain it. I keep this bottle just for licking. It expires. Just for in licking? Yeah. Every, every now and then I just have a little lick of it. 2015 they expired. Why do they put... I always want to know why they put... Why it says expired. Because technically, isn't it... A food, they're obviously food flavouring. So shouldn't it have... It, shouldn't it have an either... Either a best before or a use by? Expire well, is, is, is kind of what? Ex expire? It's died. Well, actually, we don't... By use don't by... No. Yeah, but used by dates are only an estimate. They do it by how long they think it's going to take for it to all sell out and be used. Because... This bottle expired. But no, isn't it? it vapes the same. But a used by a used by date is the stuff that you get on um, on a, on Food. like milk. That yeah, that you know it, it definitely goes off. Whereas a best before you can have a best before date on a tin of peas, um, and yet you can still eat those peas five years later. Yeah. Um, I, I think we ought to have honestly, best before dates on e liquid honestly, because it honestly, if, you fancy, off. if you fancy something. Uh, Something minty. That stuff is fucking brilliant. Got on Chandler. Any other guilty pleasures of vaping? Guilty, apart from my drip tips. Oh yeah. I I still use my Tafon GT. Uh, it's years old, and it's actually it's actually in the car because that's where it that's where it sits. Um, but yeah, I still use my Tafon GT. Um, mouth to lung. How about yeah, Heisenberg? Oh, yeah, I still like that. I still have Heisenberg, yes. You actually said that properly with an S, not a Z. Heisen. Yeah, it is an S, isn't it? Yeah, but everyone else calls it Heisenberg. 
No, it's Eisenberg, because it's a... Is it an S set that's in the middle? I can't remember whether it's double S or single now. One if, it was a, if it was a... If it was a... One of the German ones, it'd be a... A Scheisenberg. <laughs> a Scheisenberg. <laughs> Yeah. I've never liked Heisen Heisenberg. Talking of which, we've got um, stuck out this weekend, don't we? Oh yeah, Chase. Anyone going? No. I know Oliver, isn't he? Ollie's going. Yeah, TYB is going. Yeah, Stu and Stu's going. I think Stu's going. Vol uh, Volcano Bros. Stu's did you going. Did you notice that? I know. Um... Actually, Joe Sauce doing both. Yeah. yeah, I know. I know James. I don't know if you you lot know anything right, about. Right. I've only seen this. I've only seen this post. Do you know James Benson from Uncle Chill Mods? Uncle Chill. Mm -hmm. Uncle Chill Mods. He was going to. Uh, he was going to go to Stuttgart, but uh, something to do with you know these seizures and things that they've been doing on vape shows. He's decided to pull out. The German, the German TPD is a lot stricter than ours, and whilst it's not <clears throat> as applicable on, on juice, it is extremely apl applicable on hardware to the point um, a lot of the vendors aren't actually allowed to sell their products at the show. So what I, yeah. I didn't know there were any I didn't know there were any hardware regulations. Yeah. Plenty. Really? What, but I don't understand why they didn't just take display ones. And then sell them from their hotel room, which is what most of them are going to do anyway. <laughs> or took wholesale orders, or took orders for when they got home. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But what, so what would be the, what are the regulations that would prevent? I've, from my understanding of it, um, all the hardware, a lot like um, TPD juice, has to be tested, as does the hardware of it. Like as, obviously, um, tanks and everything else has to be tested to be applicable for the TPD compliant. Okay. TPD compliant. Over there, it's more strict. Mods are covered. RDAs are covered. Yes, the thing over here is like, nick shots aren't covered. Well, apparently. Huh? You've been abducted by aliens. Have I? Yeah. yeah. Whoa. You are all. Oh, shit, it's like I gave my good computer to Chandler. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Um, yeah. yeah, I didn't realise it. I didn't realise it covered. I didn't realise it covered, uh, I didn't realize it covered mods. I because I know there's a lot of uh, German German modders, aren't they, making three D printed mods better. and what have you. Yeah, actually, that is. Oh my god, Craig Nichols, you fucking superstar! Why? What's he done now? Doing this set of panels for billet box. They look fucking awesome. They do, don't they? Are they the which color ones are those? Because I've seen him post a couple of. He's not posted these yet. They're green. Chris, green. Chris, yes, Chris. did you pay for them? Uh, I don't know. I haven't asked him yet. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a chance to ask him yet. He's only just made them. But yeah, they look awesome. They've got like swells in it, like a dragon. He's done some. Uh, he's, he's posted a couple up recently. Uh, they look absolutely. Yeah, the amazing. red ones are stunning. Uh, he sent me a right. picture of some orange ones earlier. Oh, so nice. Mm. Orange ones are the nicest ones I've seen. He's been, I know he's been working on them, trying to get them, get them right, because he's. He, I saw a few prototypes going. Eh, it's almost right, but it doesn't quite fit. Yeah, the red uh, ones are beautiful. Yeah, he seems to have was not he? Ah, he's a perfectionist. Yeah, he's a he's a, a true craftsman. He's a clever bastard. That's what. He yeah, is. definitely. So, have we got any more guilty pleasures, anyone? Dire Straits. I uh, <laughs> music hmm. uh, bagpipes. Oh, you'll enjoy my wedding then. I randomly really love bagpipes. Yeah, uh, bagpipes at your wedding, considering you and your wife are not Scottish. 
We're having a Scottish wedding though. We're in Scotland. You know. To be fair, yeah. we had a, a bagpiper at ours. Why? Because we got married in Gretna Green. And he, uh, I think he, it was something like it, it, it's, it's actually it's played for the Queen before. All right. So it was, it was something that, that he'd done with Riley. Cool. They played for Riley, so that were one of the new one's gifts to us. Uh, it, it was awesome. He was brilliant. Until he turned his nose up at me when I said, do you know, Thunderstruck by SCDC. <laughs> And he just looks at me and I'm like, all right, I'll tell you another. Do you know, that's what I was, that was just what I was trying to Google, but my, it, it would seem my keyboard batteries have just died. Uh, what's your guilty musical pleasure, Jono? See, I love, I love my metal and my rock. It's going to come out with Ramstein or something, you watch. I, I, love, I, I love metal and rock. I love... Uh, well, Not wrong it. with Ramstein. I love dubstep. Like, I love like, Sabbath and my all-time favourite Aussies. He's... Yeah, I mean, rock and metal, dubstep, drum and bass. No, but I'm saying it's going from like one extreme to the other. So, like, my, you, my usual that I listen to is all my metal and my rock and stuff. But I do love listening to Ray Charles. Yeah, Ray Charles. It. See, Ray Charles. Oh, I... Stevie Wonder. I, d I don't know. What I, I love Stevie Wonder. I I think it's guilty because I feel sorry for him because they're blind. I don't know. I really don't have a fucking clue. <laughs> what? I don't know. It's, I like... Uh, Ray Charles, Stevie Wonder, that, that kind of thing. That kind I of think thing. Michael Jackson is the greatest music artist of all time. I agree. Michael Jackson? Yep. Yeah. Kevin, you look like Skeletor then when you did that. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Okay. I'll, no, I'll, I'll, I think Michael Jackson is the best artist of all time. Mm. I normally listen to like acoustic, yeah. acoustic rock, just like some chilled singer songwriter music. You know, um, Damien Rice or something like that. New, uh, Newton Faulkner, Paolo Nettini, that sort of stuff. But I love metal. I've been to see. You know, Pantera. I've been to see. I love the uh, like classical soundtracks. You know, like Star Wars, Lord of Rings. They're not classical soundtracks, are they? They're, they're, they are. Uh, f Sorry, soundtracks. Soundtracks, yeah. Filmography from soundtracks from the class from like scores. They're called, I think. Turn for a minute. Oh. Sounds like a candle turn. <laughs> Come on, come on, uh, Mark. Do yes. you have any other guilty pleasures apart from Die Straits? Chesney Hawks. Nice. <laughs> 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 now I know you're lying. Oh, Chesney Hawks. I like, I like a bit of Bross. What, Vulcan yeah. Bross? <laughs> I like Kylie Minogue. Yeah. Ah, do you? Yeah, I should be so lucky. <laughs> I'd, lo I'd, I'd love to see Chandler's Spotify playlist. Actually, go on. Has any of you got a playlist you can read out? A playlist? <laughs> yeah, a playlist on your phone. A Spotify playlist. Uh, so, what do we do? Just bring up recently played? Yeah, you can bring up your recently played. So mine has got Cutler Craig David songs on it, James Bay's whole album, Rag and Bone Man's whole album, Sampha's whole album, you know that guy that does that Nobody knows me like that piano in my nana's grave, or whatever it is. Uh, Donovan Woods is a Canadian singer songwriter. In Me, don't know if you know In Me. Yeah, I do. I've never uh, been in you. Yeah. Kill Switch Engaged, so album. Um, and then I've got. Um, what the fuck? Oh, oh yeah. ignore that. That's my missus playing it on the fucking. Uh, on Alexa, it's like Celine Dion, Celine Dion, Celine. I'm like, what the fuck? I ain't listening to them. Fuck off! You've already admitted you love Titanic. No, this is true. Um, <laughs> I can see where her and the kids started listening to music because the first song is "Everything Is Awesome" from the Lego Movie. Right. Um, but before that, then there's Trivium, Parkway Drive, Five Finger Death Punch, Corn, 
Slipknot, Lincoln Park, Asking Alexandria, Shine Down, Avenge Sevenfold, Disturbed, Soil, Stone Sour, Alter Bridge. I think that's enough from me. Mine's quite random. Go on. So, for some random reason, I've got Skeptor on there. Don't even know who Skeptor is. Um, Yes, you do. Ben Anley's fucking best mate. Oh, yeah. So next, next up, Pink, Bruno Mars, Silly Peppers. Nevada. You've got a thing for Bruno Mars, haven't you? He's your guilty pleasure. Yeah. You think he's uh, the boy, don't you? Nirvana, Dollar. Fucking hell. I love, I love me some Nirvana. Angry Anderson. Angry Anderson. Oh, well, I've got no idea who that is, but it must be old. Angry Anderson sang the he sang the uh, he sang the song that Kylie and Jason got married to in Neighbours. Oh fuck it! I've then got Passenger, Mumford and Sons, Rudimental, Tom O'Dell, yeah, Mine House, Pulp, oh yeah. Green Day. Oh, I used to love Green Day. Stone Roses, Killers, Chili Peppers, U2, Pink Floyd. <gasps> oh my God! Talking of music, do you guys know the song by Foster the People called Pumped Up Kicks? Let me play a two-second clip because I can't get... You, you need to be really careful because we'll yeah. get... I will do. No, it's three seconds. It was 30 seconds. As long as you say that you do not own the rights to music. I do not own the rights to the music. Right, let me just unmute it. Oh, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it because I've got headphones on. Yeah, you can you hear that? On. You have to stick it next to your gut. You hear that? No, we can't hear anything. Sing just sing it. Uh, well, it goes... All the other kids with their pumped up kicks better run, better run. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That song is about a guy going mental, finding a gun in his dad's cupboard and shooting up his school. Oh, lovely. Read the lyrics. It's called uh, Pumped Up Kicks by Foster the People. What did you say? What? What the explanation? It's uh, about a kid who gets bullied and shit, and he finds a gun in his dad's cupboard and takes it to school and shoots everyone. Nice. And that's okay. also I'm... what the song I Don't Like Mondays is about. Yeah. That's that's she, that, was, that, was, that was her reason for going out and shooting people. Yeah, she didn't like Mondays. It, it yeah, livened the day it. up. Yeah. My, so. my, my, play, my playlist is completely random. Yeah, no. I've got a band called Sketch Highland Time. Heavier. You're not gonna. You're not gonna know who who half of these are. Heavier. Martin Bennett. Martin Bennett is awesome. I know his brother Gordon. Gordon. Gordon Bennett. Oh, no, you've got to listen to Martin Bennett. He's absolutely amazing. Lady Gaga. Um, that would be my kids who've been on there. Yeah, of course. Don't nick my excuse, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Zomboy, because obviously. Zomboy? Uh, Isn't that dubstep? That is dubstep, yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. Like I've, gone, I've, gone from, I've gone from folk music to uh, Zomboy to uh, Pete Tong. Uh, chain smokers. That was uh, your mi- that was your missus. All that dubstep. Do you know what? No, no, that was that was me. What? Did you watch the BBC proms uh, tribute to Pete Tong? No, I didn't. Did you watch? Um... <laughs> but BBC, but BBC proms did uh, did a uh, did a tribute to Martin Bennett, and that was awesome. Was oh no, I did see the what Ministry of Sound. Was- it was the yeah, and they and and they basically did the minister. That's right. They did the ministry sound, but played it in an orchestra. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, oh. it was like and Sonia and Pete Song and oh, it was brilliant. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that, but they did, they did they did the same thing. They did the same thing for Martin Bennett, and that was awesome. Yeah. Did any of you uh, did any of you see Foo Fighters live when they pulled that kid up on stage and he smashed it? Kiss, kiss, bloke. This guy, this guy. No, I didn't see that. It's good. Oh, so fucking good. Me and Mark watched it together. We also watched Bruno Mars doing carpool karaoke together. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> and didn't we watch Sam Smith as well? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And then uh, we were in the middle of someone else's when uh, someone else joined us, so we we cut our our date short. Good. I don't know. I, I, music's a funny thing to me because there's there's not a lot of music I don't like apart from Chandler's playlist. Apparently, what 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 did we think of the intro music? By the way, oh yeah, Chandler, oh, you've not seen I this. I didn't hear it. Do it, do it, do it. Can you can you do it halfway through, or do you have yeah, to do no, it? Yeah, we can we can do it now. Well, well, play it. Hang on, I think I can. You can play the video. Nah. Nah. <sighs> Oh, proper drum and bass. That, I like that. That, that. that was made for us, that. Awesome. Drum and bass, love it. You don't have yeah. drum and bass. I like that. You you love you love cello and piccolo. <laughs> oh, I find me hungry. It just made me think of piccolo. Ugh. Prodigy, Prodigy is my favourite band. There you go. I don't know oh, that Prodigy are one of my favourite bands. I'll see them I don't know live. if that counts as a guilty pleasure. The uh, Prodigy. I saw Prodigy live uh, at, at um, Milton Keynes Bowl. And they were supported by Pendulum, Chase and Status, Sub Focus. Oh, uh, I they, saw they're in the Shikari now as well. I saw I saw um I saw um I saw Prodigy live. They were at the student union at the university I was at at the time in nineteen ninety two. This know, was, this was Do you know how just, old I was then, Chandler? Go on, how old were you? Two. Two. Yeah, there you go. I first saw the Prodigy live when you were two. What, 1997? 1992. 92, that was the experience days that we got the likes of Jericho and... That was just before, that was the, literally, the, they uh, they came and performed live and they were pushing the album. The album was released yeah. like um, was, a couple of released, weeks later. Yeah, they released Firestarter in 93, didn't they? Uh, no, I'm sorry. But no, it was it was Charlie. It was uh, yeah, Charlie says always tell your mummy before you go off somewhere. <laughs> You've practiced that, yeah. yeah. All the time. That is so fucking good that song. Nah, I see him in 2005 when they did their their Le their Law tour when they did their best of album. So how oh. old were you then? You said uh, Fifteen. Their Law was on fifteen. Uh, oh my god. Their law was off music for the Jilted Generation, wasn't it? No, their law. Well, the song might have been, yeah. but the album was called Their Law. And it was like uh, you had Charlie Spitfire, uh, Into Space. The, yeah. yeah, that was that was like the uh, the their best of, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, yeah, I, yeah. Uh, and I, yeah, saw them then. I was fifteen. Brixton Academy, front row of the balcony. Keith Flint. They both Keith Flint and the other guy come out of like a. Two massive drums that were on the stage shot out the top of them. Keith Flint came up to the top row of the balcony, he hugged me. Hey man! When I, when I saw when I saw him, it was just three on him on a stage with a with a computer. And yeah. uh, Liam, was, Liam, Keith, and the other guy. That, yeah, 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 and, and the other guy that no one can remember his name. And yeah. he's the guy doing all the music on the computers. There was no, Keith Liam. running around. This was the Keith actually did a stage dive, and nobody caught him. Oh, he just went <laughs> straight onto the floor. I tell you who Liam's I just Liam's just stood there doing all of this. That was that was his job. And it was like, what? I it went to awesome. um I saw a uh, Beardy Man at my uni. And have you heard of Beardy Man? Beardy Man? Nope. He's a uh, a beatboxer. Oh right. A world champion beatboxer. Yeah. And he thought, oh mate, he is so good. Now, oh. the, the, the two other guys that are in... the, Right, I'm going to get this. Did you see the... Did you see? Did you listen to the, the podcast? I haven't yet, no. The, the, listen to the podcast, just purely just purely because we've got uh, we've got Dean the Vaping Biker on, and Dean did some ba some beatboxing, and I, I took it and put it... You know the bit that I put at the end, the Easter egg? Oh, yeah. 
so I, I kind of mixed it together and and got about a, a fifteen second clip of Dean beatboxing. It was quite. You, cool. you should you should uh you should show us your beatboxing skills, Chandler. My beatboxing skills mm. are no. Go on. No, I cannot beatbox for the life. Go on, of give me. it a go. What the? What do you do? The boots, boots, cats, boots, cats, boots, cats. That yeah. That's not the worst attempt I've ever heard in my life. Is it not? Okay. What about you, Jono? Oh, you're more of a singer, though, aren't you? We, we, <laughs> you're, uh, you're an X Factor, aren't right? you? Yeah. We went through this last time, and it failed <laughs> miserably. It ended up with Mark leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought, if I play, if I play uh, an audio clip on my computer, are you going to hear it? Probably no. not, are you? If you send the link to Mark, and Mark plays it, we will. Oh right, yeah, well, uh, yeah. It's 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 the whole bloody podcast. Uh, yeah, you just kind of what the last fifteen seconds. <laughs> oh, I love that. Jim. We, we ought to do that. Have you seen the YouTube guys where they've got where there's uh, like six of them in in the little windows and and they just do things like that? Is that what you were playing? Yeah, you've just got you've just got someone in the background going dom dom dom, and they and they all do a little bit. Do you, do you recognize this? <laughs> <laughs> That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how does it go? I can't even remember the rest. Do you, remember, do you recognize that? <laughs> There goes the The pimps in the crib mar dropping like his heart. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, we are degenerating. We are degenerating here. Right? Yeah, I used to practice that a lot. <laughs> it never got any better, but I used to practice it a lot. Do we do, do we still have anybody watching us? Do we, yeah, we, we're just I don't know. We do. We'll, we'll just keep going till midnight. I'm gonna say it's. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm really enjoying enough. this, but we're just, we just, it's just. <laughs> the, the, yeah, we've we've completely gone off of ape topic, topic, haven't we? I don't think the topic ever started. No, so it didn't really. We did a bit of news. The Mad Expo, then guilty pleasures. Sorry about it. No, we've mentioned Germany. We've mentioned. No, some, let's say uh, still got, got a brief mention. Are we going? No. Right. Okay. Next. We've mentioned some compliant shit. We yeah. mentioned some news. We've yeah. uh, beatboxed. Yeah. <laughs> Did we actually ask Chandler what we were vaping on? What are you vaping on, mate? No. No, don't vape me. No, I've got... Uh, yeah, I, I've got don't, my... Don't vape, Chandler. It'll give you popcorn long, mate. Yeah, it will. <laughs> blood poisoning. I might get blood poisoning. Yeah, yeah. I've got my M doctor, and I put, I've got the gayer on top. And the reason I've got that on top is because what do you I've call had it? what do you call the, it the Gaia Cthulhu Gaia because it's Chanda so... Chanda Chanda I've I've yeah. never owned one I've never used one until today and a customer came in and asked me to wick it for him what the yeah. fuck's that all about wicking it is a pain in the ass it's like wick it, wick it. jungle is massive it's, well, well wick it's, it wick it it's, it's, <laughs> wick it wick it <laughs> jungle is <laughs> massive. <laughs> it's e it's if you want if it's easier to wick it if you undo and take the bottom out. I did. You did, and you, you poke it. You need you you need the only way I've been able to wick it is Zestix. is using the yeah is using the bent. So you you just pinch the wick and poke it in, yeah. and then pull it down from underneath. It's a pain in the ass. The shit design, in my opinion. But once once you've wicked it, it's it's fine. Shit design, unlike this. But the issue I've had is, uh, I think I mentioned it last time, I've been using it on the drone, and I've noticed that the drone, has, I've started getting juice leaks in here when I've been using the, is it Gaia? How oh, do you not, pronounce it? It's not Gaia, is it? 
It's V A I A. How the hell do you pronounce it? Gay A. Gay A. Gay A. That's lovely. So, yeah, I was getting Duflix, so I thought I'd try. Uh, I wondered whether it's because the. If you look at the squonk pin, it's got a flat flat head on it. It's, you use a flat head to undo it. I bet you can't see. So the juice just pisses out the two sides. So that, so that yeah, you've just got two two bloody grit big holes on either side. Do you want me to send you a Pandora squonk pin and see if it fits it? Let's see if it, I don't know. I don't know because it'll need to. Doesn't it need to have <laughs> the two holes on the top? No, I'm the only gay in the village. I think yeah. we should do a challenge for next week. We should give each other an accent. We have to try and stay using that accent for as long as possible. Right. Chandler's a scouser. Chris, you've got you've got I can't do scouse, can't I do Scottish? I can do Scottish. Alright, you Scottish. can do Scottish. I, I live in Scotland though. Hang on, so it's Gia. Gia. Right, you've got to you've got to be a brummy then, Chris. All right, mate. No, it's, gonna be burning, it's, gonna it's, be it's not a problem, mate. <laughs> Talk like this all day long because they speak so slowly. You get it's enough. Great. You get enough time to plan ahead. I can't even think of that. Basically, Birmingham is Liverpool, but it's really slowed down. Because yeah, no, if you do Liverpool, it's the same thing, but it's really quick. I don't. I don't. Uh, Birmingham is shit. I don't like Birmingham accent. Pick you just different. walk into any shop and a bit. Oh, you're right, mate. <laughs> but all right, yeah, bro. Can someone give me a different accent? I, I'd take the piss out of Norfolk. Norfolk. There you go. You've got to do a Norfolk I, accent. I have no idea what Norfolk is. You're a right boy. You've got it, a light boy. Can I just say, if it doesn't have a name, like Scouse or Welsh or... Chris, you've got Welsh then. Oh, fucking hell. I'm going to sound, <laughs> like, I'm gonna sound like that fucking Ian Watkins, aren't I? <laughs> right, Mark, you've got to do German. <laughs> what? Hang on. <laughs> what else gets on? No, you've got to speak English, but with a German accent. <laughs> you've got to, yeah, you've got to, yeah, actually, you've got to speak German for the entire show. Just be angry. Hey. I don't think that I'm enjoying the show. Was that that's, Swedish? That's, that's, that's a terrible... That's, that's, that's like a really bad Swedish. Right, right. So someone, all right uh, what else could Mark happen? Oh, my happen? God. Welcome to Racist Talk UK. <laughs> 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 I, I I think I was going to say that just do not do not make me do Welsh because whenever I do Welsh it always ends up um, from somewhere else. I think I think if, we, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. I yeah, think, yeah, yeah. I, I, know exactly I, what you mean. I think we should make, always, I I can't help make it. Chandler do Jamaican. I, I can say one thing in a in a, in a Jamaican. Is it beer can? Beer can. That's the one. What beer a, can sandwich. What? What a what a dad joke! You sounded like a Liverpudlian then when you did that. He yeah, did. Oh, you can. Hey, Mark. Okay, Mark. You are. You got to do Geordie. Well, I want to do Birmingham then, Geordie. Why, hey? We got to do the tune bit. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I think we ought to stop now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Right, so so Chandler, you're a scouser next week. Mark, you oh, are Jordan. Sound like something from what's, what's, the the difference difference between, what's the difference between scouts and Jordan? Just watch oh, a few episodes of Biker Grove. Oh, oh, they got Grove, man. Scousers, they, they spit a lot when they speak, do they? <laughs> <laughs> Look, did, you, did you watch one with, um, Jimmy Carr when he was on um, I think it was Graham Norton and he tries to teach Antonio Banderas and Selma Hayek to speak Scouse. It's like, right, just say these these three phrases like Poopa Scoopa, Roller Coaster. <laughs> it's like he's getting into the Pooper Scooper, you it's didn't... fucking hilarious. That Pooper Scooper did not sound Scouse. It sounded like fucking Terminator. Swear to God. Pooper Scooper. Hey Billy, get to the chopper. What's the other one? Oh. Kawasaki. <laughs> Oh, uh, we're down to seven viewers, I think. Um. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, yeah, we've, it, it's, I mean, it's 20 to 11, mate. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, let's fuck this show off. See you later. Oh. Cut. <laughs>
I've now waved my tweezers at you and I've completely lost them. What? Ah, yeah, we'll see you next week. Hopefully we'll have some content. We won't be chatting absolute bullshit. Have a great weekend. Cheers, John. Bye-bye.